So someone forgot their personal recording this week, so this is coming from our backup. Excuse the audio quality. So who's going to host it? I don't want to do it. Uh, fuck you. I'll host it. Guys, I'll host I it. No, no, no. Lieberum is not hosting it. Oh, God. Don't host it. Don't please. Please. No, please no, not host one, it. Keep, no, let me on, coach. Coach, Here, let me on. Coach, coach, you're not let, on. Me, let me do it before you let Noob do it. Let me <laughs> I'm actually fine with that. Revan's way no, better no, than Noob. No. Fine, guys, guys, I'll host it. Let's just do the Lincoln cast. Fine. Hello, this is Lincoln cast. This is Thurble 10, and this is for... It's one of the weeks in January, middle of the week, middle one. of the month. It's the, it's it's the third just, week of January. Yeah, third week, yeah third week. This is the real episode 37, and this is the Lincoln cast. How are you guys doing? My name's Thurbleton. Yeah, I think you We got, yeah, we got Cynic in the house. What up? Woo, self for Cynic in the house. The digital house is, is rocking with Edmund, a.k.a. The grammar. <laughs> Are oh, you no. reading his Skype name? Do don't read, don't oh. read his Skype name. <laughs> I keep looking at it. It's Skype. <laughs> I had to change name. it. Because I'm sorry, new, but you're not an Edmund. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's, he's an Edmund. He looks as Am I really Edmund-y. not? You're um, a noob. I'm an N-O-0-B-0-R-A-M-A. Yeah. I need to rename this in Skype later on. Followed by Riven is here as well. You're not the champion. I'm the champion. What? What champion? Why don't you call like, him by his real name? Why am I only? Why am I the only one being called out? What is this? Because I keep staring at your I name. Like, I like how you refer to Revan as his real name. Is yeah. Revan his real name? Where's I love how Skype or not Skype mumble for whom not as Revan. It's Riva. Revan. But was that Revan? And Dirk as well. well. Yes, yeah, so I learned this last week that Guild Wars Two is a game and it's fun. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. But we are not going to talk about it right now, but we will talk about we it. We swear we will talk about it. <laughs> We're actually going to talk about it. Something that we, we realized was we talk a lot about things that are not Guild Wars. Some <laughs> what? people like that. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, no, well, that it, would make us an off topic. Never. We're, Guild Never. Guild We're still going to keep going. We're still going to keep doing the leaking cast. We're still going to be going off topic and having a great time, but we will get to keep the leaking cast for Guild Wars. But we're also bringing the Scotch cast out. And, and I, and, and I got to say real quickly, if the conversation that Cynic and I had on Steam <laughs> prior to the recording of this podcast is any indication, fucking okay. watch out. It's going to be contentious. It's <laughs> going to be got contentious. Some shit to say. Yeah. Yet, well, we don't agree on everything. Ge- generally, sure. Duran is wrong about everything. Uh, the, Cynic is fucking <laughs> wait, wait, wait. is what it comes down Duren, to. Was it, are, the, are those conversations like the ones I have Cynic and they're like creepy Japanese? No. I uh, See, I no, like that conversation no, no. with New Brahma. With Duran, it's just me and him fighting about things Basically, that don't matter. Like, no, fuck you, you're wrong. <laughs> So, the Wii U sucks. sucks. He, was, he was reading people into these conversations and mumble. You are dead wrong. What? No, I <laughs> dead wrong. We, the Wii yeah, U sucks. Way, like, I was relaying some of the stuff that, that that we were arguing about in mumble. And Wii U sucks. People got my back. Is all I got to say. No, no, you, okay. you guys are all wrong. Cynic, do you want to talk about some of the stuff that we will be doing in the Scotchcast and the Lincoln Cast? Basically, the format. Looking forward for for our amazing twelve people who listen to the podcast. Oh yeah. Um. I so now, Foreman. So I think as we go further into offers. Guild Wars Two being out, there is not always something Guild Wars Two related to talk about every week, unless we want to go really nitty gritty into things that a lot of people just don't. Unless they do about. a Guild Wars Two anime, in which, um, in which case there's going to be <laughs> stuff to talk about every week. But like, there's just animate, just animate the books. There's other places to go for things okay. like World versus World advice, tactical information, things like that. Um, especially forums is probably the best place for that. I, don't, I know there's probably an opening out there for a World versus World podcast, but considering only really Thurbleton knows what the fuck he's talking about, <laughs> clearly this is not the place. We are for that. not the ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah like it's there will probably end up being a, a World versus World podcast, but it's just I am the only person who. It, who cares about it? And yeah. I don't even really like. I can't defend it. I know it's <laughs> odd. Um, <laughs> and and we yeah, do that podcast you, it's broken goods. Shoot, is what you will like. here, and, and, and we will just completely bash the game. And there's definitely places but, for a PvP podcast. Again, there's not as much as there there would have been, maybe. But we are probably not the people who you want to do that. But we are the people to talk about random bullshit on the internet. Um, uh, Del- 
Hell yeah. I, 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 no, I, I do want to, I do want to real quickly though, uh, come out here and say, and, and, and publicly apologize to, to all the, the new listeners that we got, uh, from the Thanksgiving episode, or sorry, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the Christmas episode. Shit, I apologize for nothing. The Thanksgiving episode. I apologize sorry, for the Christmas for episode, <laughs> uh, the special that we put out with, with Josh Foreman. Um, we had a blast with that episode and we're glad we got so many new people, new people listening. Um, and then we kind of took like a three week hiatus <laughs> oh, and, yeah. and then came back with an off topic podcast. Uh huh. Well, so. no, it was a two week hiatus and then the anime cast. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Right, right. Well, yeah. A two, two week hiatus and then two off topic podcasts. Mm-hmm. So I do oh. want to apologize to those new people. I swear to God, we are a Guild Wars 2 podcast and we're going to make sure we get back to that today. So yeah. hopefully they haven't given up on us yet. So that's essentially what we're talking about. We, we There is not always something to talk about in Guild Wars 2. There is not always something to talk about um, when it comes to random shit. But we'd rather do the latter than the former when there's nothing to talk about. So what we will be promising from here on out is we will always have, unless something goes horribly wrong, at least one podcast a week. Whether that be a Guild Wars 2 podcast or an off-topic podcast. If there's a case where we want to do an off-topic podcast, but there's also a bunch of Guild Wars 2 stuff to talk about that week, we will do two podcasts, if not more, on that week. So, for example... <laughs> more! At, wow. at E3, for E3, I, could, I fully expect us to do multiple yeah. podcasts. It I, I, I don't give a shit if it's just me and Cynic. We will have a podcast for yeah. every day of E3. And if GDC is looking to shut, turn out as fucking crazy as, as it might be, with the new consoles and shit, uh, that's good. Definitely GDC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to be I a podcast. I not want to be held to this, but if my schedule permits it, I would like to be on some of those E3 podcasts. Yeah, so yeah, stuff like that's an, a, a good example of what we're doing going forward. So, for example, in E3, we will still do a Guild Wars 2 podcast if there's stuff Guild Wars 2Z to talk about. But aside from that, yeah, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. They will still be the Lincoln cast, and, and there will also be the Scotch cast. And for those of you you um, you know who, who only really care about the, the Lincoln cast stuff or the Guild Wars 2 related stuff, like we will be sure to name each podcast Quickly, yeah. so that when it comes through on your feed, like you'll know before you ever even start the file if it's something you care about, and you can just you know if you see it's Scotchcast and you don't want to listen to Scotchcast, you can just remove it. Yeah, exactly. But they will be on the same feed. They won't, we won't be yeah. splitting out the feeds yeah. as of now. So that's super interesting. take us away. Basically, it's you're, you're still going to get uh, Durin, Cynic, or, or or Mead pulling host duty if it's a bad week. It, you'll you, know it because New Barama is hosting. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a really bad week, I'll be hosting. Yeah, I'd, but the thing, right? Like, if it gets to the bad enough that New Barama is hosting, he just doesn't. <laughs> give it, he just doesn't do it. He's like, yeah, I'll host this week. Yeah, guys, don't worry. No, what to me? I hosted and twice. Fucking does All nothing. of them have turned out perfectly. Yeah, but we were there. I would love to see a Scotch cast with yeah, so Riven and Shinboy just, so just so talking. Oh man, man. <laughs> so much talking. Oh god, everyone's okay. <laughs> So just yeah, that that's what we got looking forward. But I guess uh, do we want to keep doing what we've been playing, Cynic? Absolutely, absolutely. With we're what have you been playing? Still, yeah, we're still doing one week, so we're still playing games each yeah. week. Wow, I'm trying to segue. <laughs> oh, is it what I've been doing this week? Yes, um, Cynic, what have you been? <laughs> uh, I I haven't been playing anything because I, I, I no, no. so no, I've been like personal? have you been busy just like out. Rocking the night yeah, away. Yeah, because I, well, I, okay, first and foremost, I got Gemini Rue because I wanted it. I, I just, mm. It looks so awesome, but I, I booted it, realized it was in like forced 640 by 480, and I was like, yeah, this, mm-hmm. this looks good, but not, it's not really what I'm, I'm looking for at the moment. So I have it on my desktop ready to go. Um, for some reason, I still have the Walking Dead on my desktop. I should probably delete that icon because fuck that game. But um, aside from that, um, such a bad person. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm fine with being wrong sometimes. Um, I I went to a rock concert. That's essentially all I did this week. And read books. Oh, I, and actually, I shouldn't go into the books because they were um, Christian fantasy, and I did not think this is the Jesus right um, what venue. No, I think I think you're in the right place. You are right correct, Rebel. Go. Be, be, go. This uh, is the right venue. Because. Because all right, so no, I'm a, I'm no, a no, I, I will say right now, this is definitely not the place to be discussing yeah, Christian will, fantasy. Yeah, as a, no. As a man who has been in cat, who went to Catholic school from kindergarten <laughs> to his last year of high school, if you start talking about Jesus, I will walk out of. No, I, that's that's he my will problem. Walk out of his room. That is my problem with Christian fantasy. Christian fantasy. Um, 
It, it, uh, no, I, let's, let's, let's go. I, let's not delve into my views on how. Yeah, let's Christians not open this can of worms after just um, saying we're going to keep this thing on top of Guild Wars. <laughs> that um, is definitely a Scotch Cast topic. Yeah, that, that may but... come up in the Scotch Cast if I if I have. Yeah, a pause. What else? What else is new with you, sir? There's got to uh, be. So, have you guys heard of Ailstorm? Hailstorm? No. <laughs> uh, that sounds like this? some crazy Australian Wait, rock and roll. No, no, no. Band Hail 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 a pirate is free. Do what you want because a pirate is free. Because if that's what you're talking about, fuck yes, I've heard of Hailstorm. They're so, badass. So, yeah. I, um, Hailstorm came to Sydney this week. I watched them last night. It was awesome. Nice. So that's why my voice... I don't Did they think you are a pirate? I have no idea if... Oh, so, did Lizzie, in fact, rock it? Um, so, the thing is with Hailstorm is one of us wanted to go and... The rest of us wanted a night out, so we ended up going to the concert, but what happened from there on was, it was, I'm not a rock concert kind of person. <laughs> I'm definitely not a rock concert kind of person. So what we ended up doing was, because it was hosted at like my old uni's up. bar, um, so it's like- a, Did you ever say had a bar? Of course, we had three bars. Um, it's Australia, dude. What, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> so we had so <laughs> the, top, the, the whole top level is like a concert hall and with a bar on the right hand side, um, and it has a huge like deck um, out in, like like out in the open as well. And every floor has that. But anyway, um, we were sitting out on the deck while they were playing indoors, so we were getting the music, but it wasn't overwhelmingly loud because still hold the conversation. And we were drinking. So, like, that, that's essentially how I spent the night. We didn't actually... I haven't seen Ailstorm. Oh, El, yeah, Ailstorm, even though I was there. So Okay, let me make sure we're talking about the same one, because the way you're pronouncing it, is, is it, it is it Hailstorm? No. Ail. Ail. Okay, never mind. Completely different group than what I was thinking well, I, <laughs> Let's Let's put it this way. Were, they, they covered a song that was in Lazy Town. Do you guys know that? That no. Icelandic ch- children's television show? Sh- nope. Yes, unfortunately I do. Yo, po, a pirate is free. Do what you want because a pirate is free. Okay, well, that, yeah, they definitely did that song as well. Oh, no, because they're, they're a pirate rock band that sings pirate music, including Nancy uh, the Tavern Witch. Oh, okay. Um, did, did, they, did, did you see them or did you just heard them? That's the, music? the thing. Like, we, the, all right, so it was a concert that was supposed to go from 8 p.m. to midnight, right? Um, mm-hmm. But the cover bands, actually, oh, not the cover bands, the, the opening acts were out until like 10.30. So like, I, I assume it went way later than expected, Fuck. but like I, by the time they actually came out, we were like just outside and we were happy with just staying where the fuck we were because <laughs> we were just so <laughs> bored by then. Um, I want to know whether or not they went like they probably went like full pirate garb. Like that's to be expected, right? Uh, I know yeah, I would. I, well, I, rock, I rocked up early for some reason, and it was me standing there alone, surrounded by people in pirate costumes. It was the weirdest thing I've done in quite a while. But the cool thing was, like, the rallying at the start was um, a dude in a pirate costume standing on the steps to our bar shouting Spongebob and everyone in the crowd (laughs) shouting Squarepants and so on and so forth (laughs) until the completion of that song twice over. That was awesome. Um, Yeah, that was fun. It was fun. That's what I did this week. Uh, My voice is shot, even though you probably can't hear the difference. I, I, I do. So I might not be talking too much this episode, but yeah, it was it was, it was good. Aside from that, Christian music, Christian books, and I'm not going to talk about those. <laughs> right on. <laughs> any any heavy metal rock and roll band that does that is pirate themed that does SpongeBob SquarePants, I can get behind. It's t- it was because awesome. that sounds awesome. <laughs> it, it was actually pretty yeah. damn cool. I, I liked them, even though I didn't actually see the band. Very cool. Um, do Brahma. What you do what you up to? Dare we sir? ask? Um, so basically, fuck, my week has been pretty boring. Let me think of video games or, <laughs> oh, okay, or something right. possibly interesting. Like uh, Victoria 2, like always, uh-huh. played a little bit of Arma, like always. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've also read books, although not of the Christian fantasy variety, yeah, okay. unfortunately. So, uh, which, yeah, that's, you're missing which, out. Uh, which I would definitely love to get into. You're totally like, missing out. Um, again, one of these boring books. The Endgame, the inside story of the struggle for Iraq, from George W. Bush to hey. Barack Obama. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of the book Cobra 2? No. 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 Okay, never no. mind. <laughs> I feel like that has been our response to every time you've asked. Have you also, ever heard of the book? The blank? weather 
The weather this week has been so nice. Today or yesterday, it was negative 18 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but that's, that's like, like negative. That's like zero. That's near zero Fahrenheit, isn't it? All right. And it was snowing About. heavily last night, right? So mm-hmm. there was like 10 centimeters of snow here in Toronto. And then this morning, all the snow melted and it was seven degrees. What the fuck is wrong with the weather? <laughs> that's actually what it's like in, Port- in Portland, too. It's like this morning, there was frost or snow, I guess, on the, the uh, roofs and everything. And then by. 10 o'clock noon, it was gone, and you could walk Wait, around. So so you do that. I, was, I'm so happy, though, because I was, like, really pissed because I was going to spend my morning I, like, planning I, I, my driveway. I, I, I don't, don't want to hear about you guys' weather because I live in fucking Kansas City, Missouri. We have the most shitty, <laughs> random fucking weather in the in, I, I, yeah, in, I, I will in this fucking hemisphere. That. I'll contest. It's not like you guys have tornadoes sure. that just pick up houses and take them to other lands. <laughs> we had tornado warnings in the wintertime. All right, yeah. You win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, well, here in Toronto, it rains and snows, and there's like <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure tornado warnings win. Just in general, like yeah. if, if you talk about weather <laughs> and someone has Indiana tornado and just seen tra- and been around tornadoes, tornadoes win. Yeah, unless you got a hurricane up your sleeve. No, I, I I'm actually more terrified of tornadoes. Than Anytime hurricane. a hurricane hits where I am, it's a it's bad news. It's bad. Well, there used to be typhoons where I lived, but <laughs> nice. not anymore. Used to be. Yeah, there you go. I don't remember them because I was like four. But mm-hmm. yeah. the time really? took everything away, <laughs> <laughs> including my memory. Yeah, <laughs> it's like start to an anime, uh, start to an anime. Game. typhoons. <laughs> right. uh, you hit your head in the in the storm, right. knocked all your memories out, and then and then you remember is waking game. up on the beach, you, and then you're in an MMO, and then yeah, yeah, no, or start the Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Arts. God damn it! God damn it! That's, oh, actually, how you, that's actually how you get to the mists. <sighs> that would be fu- that would be great. That would be pretty cool. Uh, that portal uh, teleports you into the center of a typhoon. Duran, I guess if, if the weather's been that bad for you, what's 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 keeping you up? How, how you how you managing this week? Um, well, th- this this week was actually my my last week of work, um, so. Naturally, I was busy as fuck with all of that. And just to be clear, um, that's a celebratory statement, right? Not, yes, yes. Yes. Well, not oh shit. For now, far yes. Now, get back to me in two weeks, and it may not be. <laughs> I just swore, like you. You did some sort of like not getting too in depth, but you did something to do with taxes, right? Yeah, I. What did the work uh, be done April fifteenth, and not the no, middle because, of January? What, what we do is we basically I, I work for work for HR Block. I'm pretty sure I can say that. Um, and <laughs> well, I mean, like. Pretty, pretty sure, sure without getting any kind of like trouble for yeah, yeah, immediately just, fucking crapping on them. Right. Um, don't, or, because or, actually, it's really a company to work for. But tell, God, tell me about people's tax returns. Tell me about prime time. Like, give me, give me some social security. April. Well, that's 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 their prime season that most people know of, which is the tax season. But right. the job that I do is like prepping for the tax season. So basically, like each year with uh, tax form law changes and everything, uh, the tax forms themselves will change. Um, and in order to do like the, uh, the software that, that companies like HR Block and, um, uh, whatever the hell the other companies are that do taxes, um, it, for the software, like they have to create templates for those forms within their software that mimics the state release forms. And my job is to create those templates, um, get them ready to get them so that they work with what the software developers program. And probably the most boring and biggest part of my job is to proofread those forms to make sure that everything is is 100 percent accurate. That sounds really boring, and you should celebrate for not that having sound, to work there anymore. I listen to a like, lot of podcasts while I don't work. That sounds like your eyes are going to be real bad in about ten. Kind of want to just yeah. have one episode where we can all gripe about work. So, so yeah, I don't have a job. Much, so, oh yeah, that's true. It's, it's what cynic. Uh, that Thanksgiving was essentially me and New bitching about work. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah, like, that's that's all. Snows here. There's a lot of phone calls. That's all. That's all done. Um, as of this week. Um, but like I was kind of prepping for that and everything. I didn't have a lot of free time, but um. So part way through the week, I uh, started having pain in my teeth. Uh, uh, turns out my wisdom teeth now need pulled. <sighs> um. So that's going to be fun for next Wait, week. And that's didn't kind of someone else here have that same thing like last year? Did someone else get their wisdom teeth pulled? I, 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 I've had, had my wisdom, wisdom teeth removed, like but I wasn't on the, the Linky Cast during that time. Noob? Yeah, me neither. Well, okay. this was long before Guild Wars 2 came out. Oh. You had your wisdom teeth removed already, Noob? Yeah. He's like 12 years I've old. Already 12 the baby years teeth old. are of your adult teeth already, already grown. 
<laughs> well, like, like oh. it's, it's, it's my front tooth, my front tooth is still a baby tooth, so I need to wait for that to fall out. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you can just knock that out. No, 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 no. Duran, you you have so many nice things to expect, like um, like pain when you wake up in the morning, and then headaches from all the painkillers, and then not being able to eat because it's painful and you start bleeding, and there's like blood all over your food. It's gonna be great, Duran. So the, the part I'm looking forward to is it's also gonna be a week of Jello pudding and fucking like popsicles but see that's what i thought there was ice cream there was jello there was yogurt there was everything and then that doesn't make anything better no <laughs> no, no, yeah, no 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 actually I, still I don't know about popsicles i know shakes are a bad idea and you can't like use anything with straws no okay well i know my, my wife said that for her popsicles were amazing because it helps okay. like kind of like no it's pulling down and yeah it doesn't hurt as bad probably should bite the popsicles i guess it's i mean like i have a pretty good pain tolerance but uh, like it the only issue was like at the very beginning when they uh, like uh, I just have a phobia of needles and whatnot, but mm. once they actually numbed it, it was more of a weird sensation of how am I breathing right now when I can't feel myself breathing through my mouth. Okay, that's um, weird. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was it was a weird experience. And then like after it after that, it was like a, the annoying dull pain while the pain meds had worn off. Yeah, that's that that like I have a, a pretty high tolerance for pain, pain, but dull pain is something I can't. I, I can't get behind. I don't have a tolerance for anything. <laughs> you know, it's, it's. I would I would take that for a couple of days over every now and then whenever I bite down, getting that spike of pain as you're. Uh, See, that, that's why this kind of needed to be done as soon as possible because it wasn't even just every now and then. It was it was constant. The only reason it doesn't hurt now is because I'm currently on some um, antibiotics to keep that swelling down until the surgery. Oh, yeah. oh, it's, oh, it's, oh. It's, by the way, it's a surgery. These are not. These haven't actually come through all the way. They're coming in sideways. Oh right, my, that's oh, exactly what happened. They put me to sleep oh, for that because they had to like tear through my chin or yeah, my chin, yeah, or, like, it's gonna be fun. Back part of my mouth. So and then I get to wake up and then I couldn't like really walk, so I had to I had to get my dad to drive me home and it was great. And then I'm like, so it's gonna be great. A week off school, I get to just like sit around and, and eat ice cream. And then oh man, it's probably one of, like the worst You're weeks of my life. <laughs> so so aside from that, so aside from that, I have been playing Guild Wars too. Oh, what? what? Before we move on, before we move on, just a second. I put in like a hundred hours into Guild Wars. I, this I, I need to, to slightly derail this because last week I forgot about one of the most painful things I did recently, which, which I've like literally one of the most painful experiences of my life. Um, and also related to the mouth. Hey, it's all, and it was, it was done during our whole, my holiday. I did over New Year's. Gave another man. So like, I don't think we need to hear what you did. To some extra money for the holidays in Woi Woi <laughs> in in Australia. There is a pie place now. From my understanding, Americans really don't do meat pies too much. Like you guys don't no, really do shepherd pie. Uh, you're Canadian, and yeah, yeah, it's like a shepherd pie. Yeah, I, the Americans speak in Thurbleton, Shit. Revan. Yeah, not not not, yeah. not really. It's, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, we we like fruit and all that, but no meat pies. Yeah, yeah exactly. no, we, we know of it, but we don't we don't yeah. participate in that. So <laughs> Australia is essentially the land of beer and meat pies. Um, and I can get behind one of those. <laughs> yeah, I can get behind the beer. And meat pies are actually one of. The be- the greatest they're, they're not up there they're not quite up there with pizza and burgers but they're pretty close to the top of like the junk food food chain in terms of what tastes the best in the world oh junk um, food meat pie I'm a junk food meat pie well meat pies are, I I could I'd put up there with junk food I wouldn't say they're healthy <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're yeah they're essentially gristle bet- and surrounded by pastry but um and gravy but so in Woi Woi when I went on the holidays that, over New that's Year's not healthy at all um. Have you heard of a type of chili called, I believe it's the Trinidad Scorpion? Um, no. If, no. If so, it sounds if, like... Uh, I'm familiar yeah. with the Trinidad I see where the pain is starting to come in now, though. Um, so I had so, supposedly like, um, the hottest meat pies in the world. Um, they are... Which is which is not too difficult to believe because we're in Australia and there's very few countries that actually do meat pies and there's a reason they were hot because they used Trinidad scorpions as the uh, the chili within that. Uh, so the first thing we do is we walk into the store um, and we just thought they just had like all these awards out front and like oh yeah cool they, they, apparently these guys do really good meat pies. Walk inside there's a um, there was a poster on the wall with this bald guy with a with a mustache. And his head's on fire, and he's eating a meat pie, and I, I, and it's like w- world's hottest meat pie. Um, 
only here, and we're like, okay, that sounds interesting. I doubt, da- I'm an Indian, so I'm like, I doubt it's that. Like, come on, come on, we're in the <laughs> oh, middle of nowhere. Hey, sir, I challenge you. Exactly, we're in the middle of nowhere in Australia. I doubt you guys can actually fuck me over with a ho- apparently hot meat pie. And what does a hot meat pie mean? Um, so we ordered them. So what does it mean, Cynic? <laughs> we ordered them, and um, at this point, we didn't know that it was Trinidad scorpions in them. Uh, we ordered them, and I was still like pretty confident about my ability to eat these meat pies. There was four of us. We ordered sure. four. Um, and the first thing they did was, A, they made sure they had some, because apparently it, it's pretty hard to get Trinidad <laughs> scorpions and... Um, yeah, they just don't, they don't usually stock many because most people can't Wait, take them. Well, okay, that see, should have been your I first warning. About, like they just yeah, named oh. it Trinidad Scorpions to make it sound hot, nope. but I didn't really realize they were actual fucking scorpions. No, they're not. No, they're, no, they're not. It's, it's not. a pepper. It's, it's, it's a name of yeah. name oh, of the chili. Okay. Wait, okay, let, let's let's wiki this. Yeah. Can someone wiki this? Because it actually has a rating next to the wiki as to how. I think um, on the wiki, if I remember correctly. If you think of Tabasco sauce, this is supposedly in taste terms 200,000 times hotter than Tabasco sauce. Yeah, it's, um, it, it has I've seen stuff Scott like that Scott where exceptionally hot five chili peppers. Up I, I've seen like they've made scales of a million on the yeah. Scoville rating. Yeah. 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 Well, Revit Rev, Tr- Trinidad <laughs> Moruga Scorpion. Yep. Um tell t- tell us what that means. I I think there's numbers there. Give it gives us some examples. Apparently it's the most um Spicy one, the world. Yeah. So um, we didn't know wait, this. Wait, wait, there's two. There's the there's the Trinidad. Yeah, we didn't have the Ruga scorpion. I don't it is it is actually the hottest chili pepper the in the world to date. Pepper? Butch tea, butch tea pepper is the hottest chili pepper. In the world. <laughs> so you look at the thing on the wiki for the Scoville rating. Yep. What you ate is basically the equivalent of pepper spray. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it, uh, uh, noob, according to according to this Wikipedia entry, this is actually the hottest chili pepper in the world to date. All right. Yeah, no, but like there's. No, two I didn't have varieties. the maruga though. There's I didn't have the maruga. Oh, okay, okay. No, the maruga is not the hottest. Okay, I had the one that was not the maruga. Okay, then you did not eat what was equivalent to pepper spray. Yeah. You ate was just below. Okay. It just below, right? Spray. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um. So we walk in, we order them. The first thing they did was check if they had any. And then the second thing they do is they all, they gave us, um, re- release, not release forms, but like, um, insurance waivers. Um, <laughs> serious? At this, at this point, again, we didn't us, know right? it was Trinidad Scorpions. I thought it was just like a publicity thing. I'm like, yeah, I, whatever. This is going to be stupid. Yes. So, Cynic, if someone has to hand you a <laughs> waiver form to eat a piece of food, you do not eat that food. Um, I was like, did, did you think it was like, oh, they're building this up? As this, yeah, it's, uh, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, yeah, this can't be being serious. Because remember, this is like a small town in Australia. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's not really in the middle of nowhere, but it's not a big, like, it's not in the city. Right? I would expect something like this to be in the city. Um, yeah. And it's like a small pie shop on, on like, near a parking lot. I, I, it didn't look like anything special. So the fact, they had a heap of awards. Um, so, yeah, we're like, yeah, what, they're just hyping this up. We signed the release forms. <clears throat> and we signed the release forms, we hand them in, and then my friend reads the fine print. No, no, reads an article on the wall, which was next to that poster of the dude with his head on fire. Um, and that one actually went into what's in it, and then he found out it was Trinidad Scorpions in it, and they were like, oh shit, what have we done? So... Um, <laughs> They bring and out. Were you pie. like Trinidad Scorpion? No, I, 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 no, because at that point, when when a, when a chili has a name, aside from just right. inverted commas, chili, <laughs> then you kind then you kind of have to know. Okay, this is probably going to fuck me up. Um, right. So we walk outside, and again, outdoor, outdoor sitting area. We're sitting sitting down, and my friend starts going through the wiki, and he's like, "Oh yeah, so this is like two hundred thousand times as strong as Tabasco sauce. This is like and like ex like all these like." crazy amounts of math I, I've, I've forgotten what the actual numbers were so we're sitting there waiting for them they bring them out they put them down um on fire we pass them around <laughs> they just look like normal meat pies so if you if, like a red haze coming um, from them they just yeah they just look absolutely normal there's nothing special about them um so it's like something you that cut you into them and then some gas escapes in the form no, of a skull no, and crossbow and just so <laughs> laughter <laughs> Again, being Indian, I'm like, okay, if there's anyone who can do this on this table, because like, my friends are like um, two Chinese dudes, me, and a Hungarian dude. That's my, my normal group of friends. Um, oh, no, actually, I, I put my faith in the Hungarian. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Um, so, so my faith in no one. If you had to sign a waiver, so uh, they put him down, and I was the first one to take a bite. So the only way I could describe it was because no one, no one cut it open before that, and I, I was one of the first ones to get one. So we didn't really know what would be inside. Um, and the only so first of all the color. Uh, when you when we looked into after I've bitten it, and this is while I was still going through shock. I re- realized that the inside was red. So a meat pie, if oh. people don't know, is usually just like brown on the inside. Just just tastes like like meat. Looks, yeah, like meat. It just looks like meat um, and gravy. Uh, but this is it was like a wall of red, and you can see like little elements of like chili skin um, there. So it, it looked like no other meat pie I'd ever seen. And then we got to the taste. So if you have ever had something chili, there's, there's a couple of different kinds of things that taste chili like right um there's a type of chili that kind of like hits you at the start of the tongue and you immediately know it's chili and um it's it's, it's it stays for a couple of seconds and goes it goes away after a couple of minutes right um then there's a type of chili that's a slow build as well that's like you put it in your mouth it doesn't feel chili at the start and then eventually you're like oh this is actually pretty spicy and that, that's what you kind of get from most food types those two types so this the only way i could describe it was uh, imagine a wall instead of like a little like sip of chili or like a slow tinge of chili like a breeze of the time just a wall of heat that blankets your entire mouth in like just burning pain like, that's that's all you can feel um literally your whole face feels terrible like it, it burns from the tip from every <laughs> like from the moment you put it in your mouth all the way down your, your stomach you can feel it moving down oh. your digestive tract it is so hot. You just never want. You never want to put it in your mouth again. Um, so I so ate did the whole you pie. finish it? Or did yeah, you so say, I ate the whole I pie. It took me about <laughs> half an hour to eat it, um, and a full bottle, six hundred ml of milk, to eat it. And I was the only one who to, who finished it. The other guys, um, one of them was like, "Oh, I'm not sure about chili, but I'll try it out." And after the first bite, he started tingling all over. And after the second bite, he he lost some of the sensation to his fingertips. So he, st- <laughs> so he stopped eating it. Jesus. Oh, um, no. So he stopped. Oh, yeah. And, and by the way, when we asked why we had decided a waiver, it's because apparently a couple, an older couple had heart attacks when they ate these. Um, oh, Jesus. So, right. Yeah, um, that sounds, sounds right. Yeah. So like, one, one of, so one, he stopped eating it. And then my other, my other two friends had like two bites. And were like, yeah, we're done. This is not fun anymore, guys. But I was like, okay. As a person, as a challenge to myself, I need to complete this. Um, so I got near the end, you have to and get was- that achievement. You have to get the like. Yeah, oh, I need to get the bathroom. bathroom after yeah, that. I was gonna say, how much did you regret that about right, six or so- eight hours later? So usually, when I have hot food, I don't feel anything. I, I- I've never. I yeah, didn't. I didn't realize that the post hot food burn on the way out happened. Um, <laughs> Uh, until until now, oh, I've never had that oh, in my entire Jesus. life. Yeah, I've never but, had that feeling, so I'm not really looking. For and again, in most future. people's cases, that usually happens. Like for people who d- can't take hot food that well, it usually is like one passing, and then you're done. Um, so that hotness lasted for about three days. <laughs> 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 The uh, uh, only thing I take from this is uh, earlier before we were recording, we were talking about just old movies and whatnot, and talk about uh, like I think Twelve Angry Men. Uh huh. Um, but the movie of uh, uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, when he's talking about you don't remember like the the great sex you had in your life, but you remember the great shits after great meals. <laughs> so what you're saying is. We, like when you're uh, old and dying, you will <laughs> remember. remember this. I will remember the crap th- took after eating this is th- the super chilly. It pie. was ter- it was terrible. And, the burning. It was so, it so, burned so, on the so way in. It's like it burned on the way out for multiple days. It was crazy. Did you did at least you like get your name up on a wall or a shirt or something out of it? Uh shit! I didn't ask. Like we kind of just ate it and then left. I I, I didn't really go <laughs> back inside and gloat or anything. I was at the time. Um, because again, like you feel it going through your entire digestive tract, you, you feel it yeah. going down your throat, and you feel it wasting you your stomach. So I was just like, trying not to vomit on the all the way home. Essentially, that that was did my. Actually, did you ever oh, actually God, lose any kind of sensation of your up. own as well? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> did you ever lose any kind of sensation of, on your own as well? Like any any uh, no, loss no. of sensation in your fingers or your face or anything? Uh, 
No. I think like the number one thing I was concerned about was I thoroughly washed my hands after eating it. Because if you I I did not want to oh, know yeah. what would have happened if I touched myself in the eye or whatever having that food. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're blind that eye for like, Thankfully I've minutes. I've read about like eating hot food before. If I hadn't, I would have um not be, like, I wouldn't have known, for example, that milk helps and milk helps. Like the fuck Oh like, yeah, it actually oh, yeah. Does. like holy Except shit. it depends. You have to be careful on what you're eating with the milk because mm-hmm. if it's like a hot food that doesn't go well with milk, it will make it inherently worse when you're yeah. shitting it out. I will guarantee. Exactly. So in this case, I, there. I will take your um, getting your wisdom teeth out and raise you eating something that's <laughs> in it. No, no. I, I, like from what I've heard, it sounds painful, but wisdom teeth I feel like is on a different level. Ooh, I, 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 tell me – come back have to me had when your you wisdom teeth pulled out, Cynic? No, I haven't. I have not. I yes, see, you can't compare. So, but I, I, I need you. Well, you're the you're because I'm going to just randomly get my wisdom teeth pulled out. You, you are the test. Yeah, you three who have had your wisdom teeth out. See, out. yeah, Go out and I, eat that. I'm going to say chili wins only because <laughs> when anybody here in this day and age and like at least a, a main world gets their wisdom teeth taken out, they That's do true. it with pain meds. Yeah. I was gonna say, oh I have, yeah, I had no pain I had pills meds. I can they, take that. They will help acceptingly it. lose their feeling and their like. Yeah. Teeth and did not have that option. It just burned. It was it was a wall of flame in my face that I could not oh. put out for an hour. <laughs> but I feel like I don't know. What Cynic's done is like just self inflicted self arm arm <laughs> yeah, just exactly. like on his own. Like yeah, we, we probably didn't have a choice when we got our wisdom teeth pulled out. Like it was like so you I have to a get dumb these. story yeah. involving hot sauce as well. I don't even remember what the hot sauce was, but <laughs> one of my roommates dared me to like drink some of this hot sauce and mm-hmm. just sit there, not drink any milk, any water, uh, just drink it and sit there. No. Was there money on the have... table for this? <laughs> uh, I think it was just it was just pride. All right. I do yeah. remember a, a very, a very short kind of- associated <laughs> story with that. It wasn't nearly as hot as, as that kind of stuff. But uh, back when I lived with some roommates, uh, a roommate friend of mine who, who also was a bartender, um, we had been drinking heavily, and he decided to make us some um, – No, 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 no. Uh, uh, oh, shit. What was the name of the shot? Um, prairie fire Wait. shots. Prairie fire shots? Yes. Uh it's like I think I believe the actual recipe is supposed to be like one part Tabasco, like two or three parts oh, yeah. vodka. Oh, uh, um, that's bad. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. It's supposed to be like two or three drops of Tabasco, and then the rest was like vodka or something. Okay. Um, he, however, was so drunk that he couldn't remember, and he could have sworn that it was the other um, way around. Half and half. Oh, oh Jesus! And so his, his his wife and I were the only two ones who were willing to take the shot because we were apparently the one who was drunk enough to. Nice. And it basically ended with us sitting on the kitchen floor, passing the milk back and forth between each other. For the next <laughs> half, half. Yeah. Wow. You needed yeah. vodka, right? Oh man. What's that? You needed vodka. Vodka yeah. with it. It was vo- it was half and half vodka and Tabasco. Well, yeah. All right. What kind of vodka? No, no, I do not want to give Riven more ideas on how to go into <laughs> no, chili-induced comas on the floor. <sighs> just, 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 I believe just, it was just, absolute. It, 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 if I had to just guess. This story, then this news, you know, kid in coma after mixing a fucking 151 and Tabasco <laughs> sauce. Okay, no, it definitely was not 151. Because that would have you by itself. I'm going to say if you, like, first off, this, your guys' is weeks trump mine i guess but uh <laughs> if, if you want to try rather than do tabasco and vodka uh if you just want to do a practical joke on somebody get them to do like a uh a, a bunch of ginger root like uh mixed up into water because it'll just make them drool constantly oh you <laughs> it's hilarious it's hilarious and it's it them fall on the ground in pain <laughs> That is what I go for. Yeah, don't. Uh, do, by the way, just just a disclaimer. Like I live through this it. Is, yeah, don't do any of this, this stuff. Is, don't don't, don't do tale. it. Don't don't. This is not fun. Like, also, don't, I, don't don't have sauce. I sat there do in not pain taste good. for an hour. Like just sat there. I, I think um, what you can take away is first and foremost, again, as Reverend says, and it's a deep piece of wisdom. If someone passes you a waiver form for before you eat food, don't don't don't. Um, second one would be don't. Except food and a dare, and yeah, yeah to just take that away. Live just by never those accept rules. anything on a dare. That's that's the real <laughs> thing you should be doing. Uh huh. 
Oh man. Anyway, right, so we are like an hour in. I swear. We wait, have- wait, one question before before we move on. I have one yeah. question. Have you guys? You know, like when you when you're eating and then you cough up and then you have like food in your nasal tract, nasal area, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Have you ever had that with uh, hot food, like really spicy food? Yeah, yeah, I have. It's, uh, it's yeah, that's spicy, food. but I've had it's like bad. this is. I was much younger, but fresh macaroni, and I chugged a bunch of milk, and then they made me laugh, and then the macaroni shot up my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank God it was pasta, and it was a very... I had like, a big chunk of, like, some sausage I was eating, and then I started coughing, and then I had, like, a really painful time getting that out of my oh. nose. So and I've they never came out had the other side. something out... Like, I've never had something shoot out of my nose that shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm glad I can also say that. that. I can also say that. I'm glad I, I think that. we're just going to move on to the next topic. <laughs> um, what is next? This week, yours? I... I I play a lot of Guild Wars. Yeah, that's that's what my week was. And school. This week I played some Guild Wars, and I also played some Devil May Cry. The, oh, DMC so, Devil May Cry? Oh, I want to know. Want to yes. Know. Oh, do you like it? Did I you like it? it? I'm hearing good things about it, despite really all the bad like things. It. That's it awesome. Like it. I do right. like how they're like appeasing the old fans in a very simple way of just like, yeah, we'll let it you buy the old Dante skin for this new game. Oh, can you? And everyone's like. Is it a proper, yeah. like, actual, yeah. like, high-res old Dante, or is it like... I'm not sure if it's, like, if it's it straight old Dante, I think it's, it's a high-res version of the way he looked in Devil May Cry 3. Because yeah, he's, okay. he's, he's not wearing the shirt, like, he always was, like, he never was in Devil May Cry 3. Went that entire game without a shirt, just a red overcoat, pants, and boots. <laughs> oh, and fingerless gloves. Let me not forget the fingerless gloves. Well, yeah, gloves. there's a reason people <laughs> liked Dante, because he was a badass. And I, I'd also, say people were, red coat, people no were shirt. bitching about, oh, oh Devil May Cry, like, they changed they changed Dante, they changed Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry, uh, DMC, DMC Devil May Cry starts off about the same way I remember Devil May Cry starting off. That's Original Devil Dante May Cry, right? putting his clothes on yeah. in a fight. Yeah. 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 That's like all I remember. Like, as somebody who hasn't really played a Devil May Cry game before, that's all I know about Devil May Cry is that it started out that way. And so to see this new one do the same thing, like, that was really cool. Yeah. And also... Red jacket, white hair is in the game. Yeah, it's like when he goes all nutso. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever the, the, the special, special power is, he uses. Yeah. He suddenly has a red jacket, and white coat, or white hair. There's a callback. But normally, he looks like the lead designer. One of the opening <laughs> cutscenes. There's a there's like a there's a callback to Old Devil May Cry. That's cool. Wait, so the, do they what? make any effort to link the two fictions, or is this an entire reboot? Oh, it's uh, a it's, reboot. It's okay. a reboot prequel thing. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like Star Trek where they still manage to like I mean, link it. That's, I mean, you could argue all you want about like the merits of that universe, but that fiction is so crazy. Oh yeah. With no, the no. way. Well, and this is the you right way to do sense. it because if yeah. this if this actually would have just fucking tanked and been a terrible game, they could easily still fall back on that other one. Yeah. As 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 being the proper canon, similar well, to what they did with Prince of Persia, um, two thousand whatever that was. I remember hearing like the, a lot of the the. Old, like, you know, the, uh, well, the continuing stories that they've been doing that fans have been getting up in arms about, like, uh, Devil May Cry or, like, Bayonetta or something is, like, mm-hmm. why are, like, why are you rebooting it with this old way? Or, like, why is Bayonetta going to Wii U and not, like, the PlayStation? Is because if they didn't do this, there wouldn't be the game in the first place. Yeah, like, yeah, they- like Bayonetta is going to the Wii U and not the PlayStation because Sega fucking dropped that game yeah. and Nintendo decided, no, we're going to pick it up. Mm-hmm. And, they're yeah, and it. that's why and it's not going to be on Sony's system. Yeah. This Devil May Cry wouldn't like they the after the last game like tanked horribly. They were going to make another one unless it was this reboot. Yeah. And so, yeah right. Go. Well, yeah, that, pretty they, much. Literally, they, they they have not started development to my knowledge. Like, yeah, like, like Capcom wrong. Japan oh, basically just kind of gave up on Devil May Cry yeah. and decided, like, if there's going to be one. We'll let the, the American studio do it because yeah. we have no interest in doing it. Yeah, and and, and that's absolutely true because like yeah. Capcom has said before, like that they they strictly really only want the North American offices like working on like sequels and, and reboots and whatever. They, they're not giving them like new IPs anymore. Mm-hmm. Like they're not giving them things that they feel like they can't trust them with. So I mean, they clearly felt like they could trust uh, Ninja Theory with this game. So I and, usually and, and, don't. I'm glad they did. Um, yeah, I don't respond to terrible commenters because i think that's that's what they're fishing for when they make fucking terrible comments in the first place yeah because there's um, trolls they're, they're essentially trolls right so i i usually take like even if i have something to say about their obviously incorrect statements i don't because that's obviously feeding the troll um 
This is the closest I've ever, like, because for people that know, giantbomb.com, video ga- website about video games, Brad Shoemaker, one of the reviews there, gave De- DMC, Devil May Cry, five stars out of five stars. Um, and there was an uproar about that. People hated the fact that he liked that game. And this is the closest I've ever gotten to responding to those people. Because it was a disgrace what people, um, how, how stupid people can be about something that's supposed to be fun. This is video games, people. Um, there's like, like there's like people canceling people really their subscriptions to Giant Bomb um, because of a five star review. I, no, know. there's no way people actually did that. Yeah, there, there was well, there, yes, there, there was screenshots of the um, a person posted the. Are screenshot. you serious? I should no. That, let's not talk about this. I don't want. I don't want people to search for, and give this person any um, coverage whatsoever because obviously just sad. But yeah, there's just a stupid overreaction to it, and I just hate it when people like it when other people hate like things it's like you know it's. People should like things. If they like them, leave them and fucking learn about it. Even if it's something like Christian novels or whatever. <laughs> what people need to realize is <laughs> or Old Devil May Cry, New the way Dante was, isn't going to play right now. Isn't going to play anymore. It's it's a, it's a victim of the era. It's like it, You can't have him acting like that. Like, you're acting like the way he yeah. was. Right. It, from what I played in Devil May Cry, he's acting like the like a modern version of Dante Wood. He's a badass. I, he's a badass in this game too. Like from the sounds of it, the way he like has one liners and shit. I'm, I'm sure like the lead that. designer is also a badass in real life. I dude <laughs> clinging to that. I, I I also agree that maybe I'm gonna cling to that. So it's it's sad that because it influences the character designs influences a punk rock. And people are mistaking that for emo, and that's another sad thing I, I see in in modern times. Like literally, people well, I have. I'm going to point out that he was blatantly put self inserting himself into video games. Right, but yeah, no, I, I, just as an aside, punk rock is not emo at all. Sorry. God, when you said punk rock, I flashed back to one of the weapons you got in Devil May Cry Three. It was uh, a guitar. Yeah, Down Straight was a guitar. That's awesome. <laughs> it was like a straight up a guitar. Yep, I have like images of him with guitar. That. And the cutscene, like when you got it, was just him rocking out with it, killing things. Fucking a, fucking yeah. I have, I have screenshot. I used that as one of my DPs back in the day. Dante with the guitar. That was cool. Uh, I know I need to get 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 us back on topic, but I just don't mind listening to this. That's why I'm a bad host. <laughs> these, these podcasts are going forever. Um, all I can say is like, yeah, like they're both in the right. Um, that 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 uh, giant bomb user who wanted to cancel his subscription, if he doesn't like what they're you know reviewing, yeah. then that's that's his prerogative. That's his but prerogative. if he thinks that, but, but the weird thing is, he's already paid for the subscription. He's just. Yeah, he's canceling. But I mean, like, if he thinks that fan is going to drop, like, is going to convince them to change their ways because funding is getting dropped, that's not w- what Giant Bob does. That's, no, what, I mean, that's also Giant. not how Ryan has come out and said before, like, in the past, and Jeff as well, like, you don't like what we're doing, like, fucking go to a different site then. Yeah. Like, that's yep. not what we're about. This is what we're about, and, and if you don't like that, then, you know, that's that's cool. Yeah. They're, they're not you know what we're about, sort of, is Guild Wars 2. What? Occasionally. We're, we're kind of about, yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, guys, a lot of stuff has happened. Yeah, this this is actually a week about Guild Wars 2, as opposed to last week, where there was nothing to talk about. We haven't as, even talked about Winner's Day yet. predicted. <laughs> oh, God. We're not going to talk about Winner's Day. Winner's, Winner's Day is a thing of the past. Yeah, Two predictions from, like, a month ago was that guesting is going to come. It was on the spoke. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen in January 28th. And as I t- said last week, they're going to release a lot of stuff this week, and they did. Well, that's sooner than I expected. Yeah. I honestly expected an MMO to release a guesting feature literally like two years after release, and I'm going to applaud Guild Wars for doing this. Yeah. Uh, well, to, to be fair, there was a no plan to – yeah, thank you. All right, good. It was supposed to be at launch. Um, so this week was what? <laughs> two live streams? Well, and, 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 and also real quickly, uh, <laughs> speaking of it should have been at launch, if I'm not mistaken – I. In that that closed beta that obviously not, not only any of us were in, like I believe guesting was actually in at one point. I think so. Yeah, it was, I, don't I don't think it was working with the vast like the, they had like a numbers issue. I guess I don't know. Mm. Okay, I just, I'm sure it's, it's just surprising that it took them this long to get it in. Well, they haven't gotten in yet. Let's just be, okay. So they, they well, oh yeah, yeah. They have two yeah, live streams it is, it is, to be released on the 28th. Mm-hmm. Certainly, game companies don't delay things. No. Certainly not arena. Though. Certainly, everything launches smoothly, and they don't have to Cer- pull features back certainly off. Certainly, MMO developers don't announce things and then 
three hours before that patch comes out, they announce this feature isn't coming out. Yeah, no, that never happens ever in video games. No. <laughs> First update for Star Wars. <laughs> First update for Star Wars. Um, uh, yeah, did you just uh, cough out Star Wars? I, I, I guess. No, I got a, I got a bad cold. I'm catching a bad cold. So within, I guess I'll just go through, through like just. just some of the things that is is happening for this is people can easily guess. I think you can guess for like two servers at any one time or something is how yes. they put it. Yeah, uh, I believe so. And and like when you guessed on that server, you have access to it for I believe it's 48 hours. Something like so that, right? yeah. I think it just it keeps refreshing really or something. But then and, you- and basically the only things you can't – the only thing you really can't do is Wub Wub stuff. And if you try to go into Wub Wub, it's just going to drop you back to your home server. Yeah. Which th- that's the that's the thing a lot of people are getting happy about is not only the fact that for example I can play with friends who are on other servers without having to wait a week to get back to my server for Wov Wov, we will hopefully see less and less mass guilds hopping across servers to change World versus World. Well, that and and probably like more importantly, we will see less spies showing up in World versus World, which can make things slightly annoying. It, it, it makes it, it can make the the commander icon basically useless. We so. may or may not have had to deal with that today, even. Yeah, while we're playing. As soon as I turn my icon Fucking on, Fucking Maguma spies. There's like ten Maguma about to hit us at this point that we haven't even touched yet. Nah. Yeah, uh, we're, we're literally setting up the goddamn carts for it, and as we're like, getting them set up, they're coming up around the corner, like just perfectly timed. Goddamn, uh, looks like they do. Anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, there what is if stuff. You was a spy? Yeah, they wouldn't be a spy. And then also, where they just ran our golems into a pack of crate. Yeah, there was that too. Yeah, we got yeah. two two golems jacked from us. He just he just got the golem before anybody else could and walked him into crate and like, dude, stop! Can you respond? Anything? Talk to us. Fucking nope, gets it killed and then runs off. Gets the other one. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Reason. I anyway. Don't play. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, but them. there are a lot, there are issues with Wovo, but they're going to announce they're working on fixing them. Mm-hmm. Um, there is rumor talk. My prediction is going to be they're going to be adding another map that they'll rotate between either like every week. There's going to be like one week you'll do Eternal Battlegrounds, then one week you're going to do this other map, or that same scenario but with Borderlands. So there's always going to be Eternal, but then the Borderlands will change to. The new Borderlands, and then the next week it goes back to the old Borderlands. Okay, that could be fun. That could but be yeah, interesting. I think that, they, I think that would be a lot more interesting than just changing the Eternal. Yeah, they, they've they've said they're not going to get rid of any of their old maps, but they 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 hinted like that doesn't mean that we're not making new maps. Mm-hmm. And so, either there's going to be a, a a fifth map people can get into, or they're going to rotate. Well, and I believe like wasn't their original plan to to change. Um, once every couple of weeks as opposed to every week, or have they hit that yet? That, well, yeah, they said that they were going to do it every two weeks. We change, uh, we rotate in the rankings. Yeah, is that is that already started, or is that still? No, it's well, it's we we've been at one week rotations. And okay, I, uh, so that's what I'm wondering. That, like, if they if they add this new map in there, and at the time that they change it over to two weeks, then that 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 negates any possible imbalance issues. Where if you're still at a, at a week um, rotation. Like you can end up having like a strong week with this map and a weak week with that map, so like them kind of rolling out these new maps like right alongside upping it to a two week rotation, um, kind of negates that that imbalance problem. Really, if that's the reason why they're doing that, is to balance like the map rotations, I think it'd be better for them to just to have all the servers rotate colors. Well, yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying they're that's, doing it as a means of, of that. I don't really want to get into right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying they're doing it as a means of balancing. I'm just saying like that that would negate any possible imbalance issues if they were to introduce these maps and still keep it at one-week rotations. Uh, uh, the big thing that I'm, I'm on the fence about still is they're talking about wanting to... Well, of course, calling is going to get fixed. Wait, so what I is never that? really care about it. So Calling is... Here's the problem with calling and why it took so long for them to fix. Because wait, what is calling? I have no idea what that is. I'm going to get to that. Calling was their fix, their way to allow more people into Wub Wub maps, so it would be this bigger dynamic fight. Uh, basically what happens is when uh, the game's loading for you and having to like transmit all these different uh, assets, with MMOs, especially with like Guild Wars, players are very high polygon counts and cost load times, load data. Right. And so when it comes to transferring this information, some of the things they thought would sac- like would be smart to sacrifice is 
if there's so many players, we just won't like we'll, they'll be lower in the loading queue than other stuff, like okay. loading this the background, the points, and all that. Mm-hmm. And so what people did, would do is they would stack up in this ball of fifty and run on top of enemies that were spread out, and the people didn't see this pack of fifty until they were right on top of them and they were huh. half damaging them. Right. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's a real big. It, it, it's it's a smart. Um, yeah, it's really solution intelligent. on paper yeah. for a problem that like Star Wars struggled with early on with their Ilum stuff, and they eventually just pulled straight up pulled Ilum out of the game essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, so like this that was, was a, hilarious. Yeah, so like this is this is a smart like possible solution for that. But yeah, like it doesn't work when you're being hit by a bunch of people you can't see. Yeah, no. uh, they they like uh, there was a week or two where they would like test like, hey, we have we think we have this fix. We're going to see if this. Uh, help solve the issue, and if so, we're going to go into further development on it. Mm-hmm. Basically, changing around the order in which um, it would load players first, and then like load animations on a fort next or something. Right. And uh, so they played around with that. They think this is going to be a big step towards fixing it with the uh, January update. This, this um, one sounds way better. So for, from okay, they're doing what I thought they would do, they would have been doing in the first place. I guess it sounds easier on paper than it probably is to actually do so instead of actually just Based. changing the yeah. order in which things load what they're doing now is they've actually put in like an unreal um esque um type of thing where a player only loads like a low poly version or a low like texture quality version then continually loads more as it becomes more relevant so the player will immediately be there in a low poly version and which is which means you can see them which is probably the most important thing about the entire loading process and then after that it can actually fill in the details so it's doing like a segmented loading version um which yeah. is faster and could obviously fix the problem in a really interesting and way, way i thought they would have done it earlier because a lot of games do that for textures in general so it's pretty cool but uh, yeah, the, the big thing that I'm on the fence about is what they've said with uh, – they, they want to try and pull away from the whole need for calling in the first place and that is the Zerg mentality or the, basically everyone balling up in this big group to get stuff done. Right. Um, and that is they want to uh, increase the rewards for uh, – I, I, I'm pretty sure they said defending but also just – not doing these big fighting fights. Right. So they're sort of hinting at like they want to reward people for doing small fights and for um, defending. I wish I'd like uh, before the podcast found a way to like uh, get that word for word from their uh, live stream. But yeah. basically the last time they tried doing this was at the start of the game when um, you could you would get experience and like karma and uh, money for escorting yaks and defending them. Or Dolyaks, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, basically, that's the stuff that goes from supply depot to a tower. Yeah. And what pe- you would have 30, 40, 50 people stack up there and not fighting to attack a point. Mm-hmm. And so, like, one or two people come to try and kill the yak and they get wasted, but the bulk of people are just these botters, AFKers, and whatnot, just farming XP off these yaks. Right. And I, I hope they can find a way to get people to these, are like, other things that are necessary uh, while still not stopping farmers from just queuing up the, the uh, maps. Mm. I don't know, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Everyone I see on Skype, is just this bored look. <laughs> it's it's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, because this is why. I, yeah. Okay. So it, it was a pretty much a pretty huge little news event. Cause they did talk about Wolf, but they talked about a shitload of things during this. Cause I, I I've been pretty out of Guild Wars 2. So surprise, surprise. So I came back yeah, and looked the, the at this. Yeah, just segues into Wub Wub, and I was getting through the list. But yeah, yeah. They, they talked about a ton. Yeah. Well, I mean, I will say, like, I, I, I real quickly, I, I am, I am very interested in doing Wub Wub, but I think at this point, really, what it comes down to for me is really going to be this twenty uh, eighth update. Like once, once the once the free transfers are out, I will be exponentially more excited about Wub Wub than I have been in the past. Yeah, that that's that's definitely a thing. So. What they've announced um, during this pretty large developer live stream was essentially their plans for 20, 2013, this year. What they're going to be doing this year in Guild Wars 2 in terms of updates, um, at least in terms of what they can announce at the moment. Um, obviously, they have not, to put this out front, said anything about expansions. In fact, they didn't really say anything about new 
like world. Well, Josh content. did say something, but we signed too many NDAs to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, last year. Yes, did. I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we weren't supposed to even mention well, that. Maybe. All right, in, in a couple of weeks, we'll be breaking like 12 NDAs to uh-huh. bring you exclusive info. So yeah. just hang yeah, on totally. tight, guys. Uh huh. Um, uh, you, you guys need the number for a good bitch. lawyer when you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he out of grad school? Is that is is it not you? Because that's that's all I really it's care not about. It's not you. Then it's fine. <laughs> like, um, if you ever need anything, you know who to turn to. Someone now, else. Now, Aside from that, they they've talked about the the bunch of stuff they're changing in pretty much every element of your war. So PvP, PVE, structured PvP, and Wolf Wolf, as well as some dungeon stuff. Um, who else has read this whole thing? Because there's a tra- there's a there's a transcript up on Guild Wars Two Guru. Um, so that's yeah, actually what I, one thing I was going to mention is I I really wish that Guild Wars Two uh, or sorry Arena Net would uh, do a little bit better job of putting their Twitch channel kind of out there. Yeah. Because I went to go try to find the the video. I, I wasn't able to watch it live. Mm-hmm. And like it on Facebook, and you I, get all I could the not, Facebook updates. <laughs> I could like not. The link I, I couldn't find on them Facebook, on Twitch like anywhere. I, I, I don't believe it's anywhere on their main site. Like I, was, I can link like some they of the stuff. Advertised Twitch. it a day yeah. before. On their side, it was like wouldn't they normally say, "Hey, we've got this up"? Uh, it's like there was this past today. They just had that up there for like, "Hey, we've got a live stream coming tomorrow." Yeah, but aside from that, it kind of just well, uh, you know, yeah. E- either way, they had this, and they did talk about what they do for 2013. Um, so I- I'm looking at the list on the front page. It was two guru. It's split to multiple parts. Uh, having read just the first one, I can say that. Um, wh- which ones do you guys want to talk about first? There's there's Wolf Wolf. Um, there was information talked about the major, the biggest Wolf Wolf change, uh, which is the, about calling and so on and so forth. Like, for in general, like to to boil it down and not talk about this stuff later because I don't think that particularly interesting. Um, one of the things they did for they're talking about for every type of the game, so all three segments of the game were um, they want to be to give more rewards, specifically like achievements and stuff. So they're overhauling many versions of the achievement system, so the PvP reward system, the achievement system, and stuff like that. To just give bit people like better or more, or more engrossing achievements. Is anyone excited about that in general? Yeah, so like, yeah, I'm, I'm about excited that. about that. Okay, there's cool. like, do like, you think it's first off? They, they need to do like it's it's retro and um, they haven't released all the it, it's retroactive. So yeah. all yeah, of, like the major it will be together. retro that they have announced and said it might. Or I've I've seen more. Uh, I've read things that said it's not going to be retroactive at the start. Well, yeah, it's. We'll talk more about it as they release more info, I guess. I, yeah, but yeah, they're, they're achievements will be a currency. Woohoo! That's uh, yeah, one yeah, thing yeah. I want to quickly go over about the culling is it's not just Wove Wove applications. Um, PB as well. Cynic, I believe you did a little bit of the Lost Shores content, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, the, def- God. the defending of Lion's Arch. Yeah, <sighs> there was some there was some culling there. That yeah. that is culling. That is what culling is. Is when you take two steps and then fifty more people load right in front of you. Yeah. Um, right. So hopefully, if they fix, if they find a way to fix culling, so it's it's non-existent in Wove Wove, mm-hmm. they might bring hilarious. back some of these big events. Hopefully, with a better story design <laughs> than just like <laughs> defend the most populated them. city that has the most like loading assets. Yeah, that, la- uh, that last event when I was. Uh, lagging so bad, I just had people to tell me whether or not I was safe, and then a minute later, I would find out if I had died or not. <laughs> Man, I don't so, know. Yeah, like, it's, it's, calling is a PVE thing as well, not yeah. necessarily an SPVP thing. No, which we can talk about all the SPVP uh, updates because yeah. there's a lot of cool ones. So just going back to achievements, I think like um, they should do more rewarding achievements, yeah. like achievements that have like an end reward, which is like a really I good idea. Because especially for – I remember, I don't want to go back to Guild Wars constantly. But Guild Wars 1, you have the Hall of Monuments and mm-hmm. like Guild Wars 2 rewards that you get from doing these titles. Yeah. And I think when you give these achievements an end goal, like you're going to get something out of them, they're, you're giving people a reason to do these achievements. Because well, yeah. a lot of these achievements are like, yeah, sure. They don't even give titles, half of them. Mm-hmm. So like what's the point in doing them? Well, and, and Noob, I think you can definitely appreciate this as well, having dabbled a bit in The Secret World recently. But like right. maybe make some of those early achievements that you get. Costumes? M- make them make them gem achievements. Like give you oh, some gems. Oh fuck! I thought you were going to no, say no, no, costumes. No, no. I was no, excited no. there. What I mean is like give give you some gems to like uh, you know as a new player coming into the game, right. you know have a reason to go and check out their gem store because that's that's probably one of the biggest failings I feel like with this game um, compared oh, to other games that yeah. have done similar systems is they have no. 
they have they, no like no, no like in progression system that pushes you into that gym store and shows you, hey, look what we have here has, that you can buy. Here's a they they so, so sort of do. Reference. They almost hit the mark. They just need to explain what they're doing. Is because when you do the personal store, you get things like Lions Arch keys, right? And but the stuff thing like is, that. They, like for reference, they don't the way, tie that in with the gym store. Though, the way yeah. that Secret World handles that is once you have completed uh, thirty quests 30 in that quests. game. They straight up give you currency for the in-game store to go and buy stuff with. I think, but cool. I think the Secret World just generally does a good job in tutorials and Guild Wars. Well, yes, yes, that, yeah, that is, I, I will 100% agree with that. Yeah. Um, I, no, I was going to say they should give us costumes <laughs> for completing <laughs> they would things. Well, actually, the game. one of the rewards they have listed, like this is just like a screen grab that none of this could be the same when they release it, but it does say like warrior gear, elementalist gear, necromancer gear, this could be a special like gear set. No, that's pretty uh, cool. So it, it it could be new skins. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and uh, I, that's that's, that's really cool. They're doing that. I still feel like they need to do something to push new players yeah. into the gym store. Well, let's let's, just, let's I, talk I about the gym store. Then again, is. then again, they need to release new fucking uh, costumes in the gym store oh, to give people yeah. reason to beat. If they release new I stuff. Think all the for, costumes. What is they, this? They haven't released anything other than fucking. Well, uh, let's just put it this stuff. way. Further down in the interview, they actually do talk about the gem store. Um... Aside from the fact that obviously that they, they will obviously be working on putting more stuff in Gen Store or what, what their pl- future plans for Gen Store to expand it so and so forth, but the reason they want to expand it is because apparently the Gem Store has allowed them to have a live team which is fifteen to twenty times the size of the live team in the original Guild Wars. So, so the Gem Store is doing well then. It's doing really, really well. Apparently, well, that, is, that, that is actually what, really, really good. We know here the because... size of. The original Guild with Wars, Guild Wars two being the, the the company that or the game, I feel like that really has pioneered this kind of. I'm, I, people have said that other games have done a similar system in the past, but I don't feel like any game has done it quite in the way that Guild Wars two has done it. Mm-hmm. And so to see them kind of pioneering this and doing so incredibly successfully, yeah, like that's really really good to hear, especially for kind of the future of the genre. Yeah. Right. So, but that's not like for actual things that matter to in terms of gameplay. Um, well, yeah, just to touch on achievements, that they're just put, going to expand what you get achievements for. Um, they're going to have achievements for like doing all the jumping puzzles and stuff like that. And I, I think there's already some along those lines, but they're just expanding it. I want but more I, titles. I, I, uh, Riven, question yes. for you: As yes. the pseudo former dungeoneer, now head fractal <laughs> fractal leader. <laughs> yep. Uh, what is your yes. like? What, uh, and Duran, I guess, could ask this too, since you're a WoW vet. Mm-hmm. They had like the achievements for doing random things in dungeons. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think that's something you would like to see, or we should see, uh, with the dungeon revamping that we're we're expecting in the months to come? It is something I would like to see, as long as that dungeon revamping means fixing the mechanics of the fights so that oh, yeah. they are doable. Well, we we will get into the actual yeah. revamping, but mm-hmm. the idea of special achievements for like well, right? And I understand we're, we're going to get into that. But like, the reason no, I put that caveat yeah. on there is because those fights are so fucked right now mm-hmm. without so. exploiting that I, that I feel like. Yes, that would be really nice, but it's kind of a moot point until that has been fixed. Actual games. So yes, moving on to things that actually matter for gameplay. Wait, 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 Cynic. Do you remember a time in the past when Fractals first came out and mm-hmm. we were like the highest leveled in the guild? Yeah, that was in Fractals. Fun. That was do you fun. remember that? Yes, I remember that. <laughs> those, those were the days. Yeah, that was great. Uh, well, I, I, days. I like new Seven, content. What are you up to? Eighty? Uh, huh? What are you like? Level eighty Fractal? Level sixty Fractal? Me? Yeah. I uh, stopped at 41. Oh, oh God. Jesus. I'm still level 5. I think I'm at 3. So, yeah, which ones do you guys want to talk about first? Wolf Wolf, um, PvE, or SPV? I know, I I, I know I'm really interested about Wolf in Wolf SPV, but... We could talk about Fractals real fast, because those yeah. are getting improved as well. Okay. Yeah. With January. Sure. So, uh, so... Riven, are you up to date on what's, what's changing with that? Uh, they're adding a way that uh, people from higher... They're giving people from high level fractals a reason to go back and help people from lower level fractals. So uh, at the at the end of the month update, if I if I run a group for a twenty, let's say I get a group for a twenty fractal, and um, what's the Wilson doing? What's the Wilson? Yeah, we're on video. I, for I, I posted the link down to, to the link. click it. He's pointing down to the link in Skype, so I can okay. click on it, and I'm not. Let's say. <laughs> Let's say I run a level fifty-three fractal, uh-huh. and I invite someone who two people who are, are on level twenty-one. 
Pretty much, yeah. Okay. So I invite three people who are on a level 21 fractal and someone who is on a level 2 fractal. Uh-huh. When we complete the level 53 fractal and all these people have died because they haven't uh, – they have no agony resistance. Yep. Uh, they, will, they will all go up one fractal level except for me. I will gain karma for helping them. Okay. So wait, did, did you – is this only on the higher level of fractals, or if you would you be doing this if you're doing level I, two? Fractals? I believe it's everything above level ten, right? Uh, no, it's when it would be whenever. Yeah, I think it's whenever. I think how it works is like basically you will stop seeing people asking for looking for level like fret like fractal level two or something, and you'll just see, hey, we're doing the fractal like level ten because that's or, or like level nine because that's level nine is the highest one. One through nine is the exact same level of difficulty. Then 10 oh, okay. through 19 okay. is the same level of difficulty or what? Uh, agony – at a certain point, agony jumps yeah. up a bit. Agony yeah. gets introduced at level 10. So basically if you had – like if you will not see level 1 anymore, you'll see everyone doing level 9. Right. And then anybody who's below that level will start gaining up to level 9. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Just by like, doing it, yeah. Yeah, just, just by doing it. Anybody who's above that level will be level uh, – will just be getting karma. Yeah. Which is you cool. just need one person who's above level nine or at level nine to start it, right? And also, you can get back in there, right? Uh, if you get disconnected, yeah, that's that's the that plan. was that was for me the biggest of the announcements. They're actually right. putting in that you can rejoin fractals. Fucking well, what? it was actually it was kind of crazy how like it, it made sense why it it didn't work before, and yeah, but- I'm impressed they found a way to work around it because. <sighs> The, the, the fractal levels are based off of your personal story levels. It's like it's another personal story that just doesn't have any names, and it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. And so, like, that's the reason why when one person, like, when people join when they were the same level and they progressed, that's because when you join someone's personal story and it's the same story, your story progresses as well. And also, when you leave, you can't get back in. Right, um, right, but right. It, but it, it's still a dungeon. I, I I was yeah like that's the thing like from, like 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 that's all all nice and everything but from a gameplay standpoint yeah. like it, it really comes down to like ease of gameplay and for that like you have to put the gameplay before the story like there was there were times yeah. when me and Noob had to complete an entire set of three oh, fractions God. with just three people because two people were just <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm I'm not I've done sport. that in level forty fractals where there's just been three people doing yeah. the last fractal yeah which See, is then, kind then of again, fun have, but also so shouldn't be the case like you should that shouldn't then be again, no, say it's not as, fun, as, it's not as, fun. <laughs> as somebody who has played uh, who, as somebody who has played a lot of wow and everything i'm i'm becoming less and less interested in the model of the fractals because really? they in a lot of ways they feel a lot like the like old style of, of rating in wow which is not something i am generally um very fond of which is essentially no like building out a set of gear specifically for this oh, yeah. one thing. Fucking cannot stand it. That you will fucking never use anywhere else. Because yeah. like agony, agony resistance, never going to use it anywhere else. Back in old school WoW, for anybody who's listening, you know, vanilla WoW rating, fire resist gear. You had uh, to get it. Anixia. <laughs> never going to use it anywhere else. Yeah. I, like get, getting I your, 100% uh, agree. 100% yeah, it's, agree. It's, and that's why, like, as long as if fractals continue to exist as a parallel to radi- or to dungeoning, mm-hmm. then sure, I'm okay with that because you will continue to use the fractals for that gear or for that uh, or the gear for those fractals, and you know, continue progressing through that. I just see it as a, I see it as being okay as long as it is a parallel progression as opposed to standard dungeoneering. Right, but so those are the two main changes to fractals. Um, I they, I don't believe they said anywhere whether they're adding new fractals. Um, they haven't, and they also haven't yeah. said anything about adding new gear. Which is, but I, I, I ass, I'm assuming that they will, just because uh, it's like it's an entire fractal that I'm just. Maybe that will be like the February update. Maybe, but yeah, like, but for I, now they're working on improvements, and then they'll work on. But I'm just gonna, if they don't do any, like they have to do something in this update. One with gear, and two with all of the rings that people have. <laughs> I have at least fifty rings. <laughs> that I'm not wearing. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, that's... my like, my warrior, my level 19 warrior already has like six rings that are just set aside for her. Just like just for like, all right, this is going to be the tank. This is going to be DPS. This is going to be the bleeds uh, bleeds rings. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, it's, it's crazy in terms of actual drops and so on and so forth, um, and what they're doing with gear. Drops in, the drops and fractures are crazy at higher levels. Yeah, like they're. they're 
We'll see how they progress in terms of how the economy works that out. Because at the moment, to me, it doesn't seem as if the economy is balancing out the changes in gear they've made yet. Um, but they have thankfully said that they will not be introducing another set of gear between um, Ascended and Legendary. So they're keeping it as it is now. Ascended is still the top, inverted commas, top tier guild. I'm sorry, top tier and uh, gear. So, something to sort of like look, like look, uh, I don't want to say look forward to, but observe from like how they're going to, how this is going to play out that I'm inter- interested in, I guess, is they're saying they're going to add uh, fractal or not, they're not fractals, uh, ascended items outside of fractals of mist. Like through, uh, they've said through the achievement system, uh, through world versus world. Uh, we're not sure if it's with the new ranking system that they said they're going to announce out. Um, uh, that's not till February. So that's why we're not talking about it. Yeah. Um, but then also, um, like, is this going to be like only agony for fractals or is it going to have other stuff too? Um, is it going to play into the, the dungeon, um, uh, re revamp or what, but I mean, that, that's, that's something we can look forward to over the next few, few uh, weeks and months to talk about yeah. uh, a lot of these things that we're like, we're trying to, to only announce the talk about the things that are coming out soon. Mm-hmm. And it's very hard because arena does a lousy job of saying, this is what we're working on soon, and this yeah. is what we're working on for the rest of the year. Well, yeah. and then we have all those NDAs that we've signed and everything, too, so it's real hard to just... Oh, yeah. yeah. So remember many. what yeah. we can't once talk again, about. I don't have, once again, I haven't signed any of these NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend just don't know shit. That's, that's the difference here. Um, so that, also, that's, I'm not afraid to break an NDA. <laughs> <laughs> that's essentially the, the difference to fractals. Um, for overall dungeons, I don't see too much talk here off dungeons themselves. Does anyone? They're, ta- they're talking about revamps yeah. and changing... Way I know one of, the, oh, um, one of the big things oh. they're making is that they are going. They plan on changing it so that once a boss fight is engaged, yep. when you die, you cannot re-enter the fight until the boss fight is over. I which don't like that. Goes back to they need to fix the fuck out of those fights before they. I want to see. I want the way we handle Lupicus now. <laughs> it would literally be four people doing that fight because I'm I'm not going to call people out, but some people just get hit every time and die. Well, that's not even well, that, that's something that is like it, last it's, night. and one one of the fights. Uh, this is the first time I had done the the dungeon. Oh, yeah. One of the fights uh, is that the one where basically you go in one at a time and just fight yeah. until you die, and then some. Yeah. yeah, like that won't work anymore. Also, they've changed that. It used to be a lot easier where you would just run around the room. <laughs> now you, everyone would stay in there. Now you run in one at a time because that's easier. Yeah, so and, and, and yeah. it's like they're they're identifying that just like making it so people can't waypoint is the issue. Um, they're they're like they're, they're looking at this for the revamp of like why are they doing that? Well, it's because like for example, I love the Lupicus and like the subject alpha fights, but with those you are going to have people who just have to constantly run back in. Um, if they found a way to make it so, like, they, they want to make it so that people aren't just doing that and one person is just avoiding damage and not dying. And hopefully this means we are going to see health pools drop, but you can't run back. I, so it's like, it's a yeah. five minute fight instead of a 10 minute fight. So yeah. in general, they apparently, revenue, you're going to have to, to weigh, on the, uh, weigh in on this. Apparently they want to make, they want to redesign pretty much every boss fight in the game um, to resemble more like what they're doing in inverted commas in the fractals oh god what does that mean it. what does that mean well you, there's no <laughs> waypoints in any, there's no waypoints in fractals yeah if yeah. you know that so when you die you have to if someone yeah, it, dies in combat it's a combat res you like you have a thief drop combat or you you have someone kite the enemy uh, kite the boss around while everyone else reses them right well they're like, that, they're that, like that or if them, everyone right? dies you just go yeah, back there to are the checkpoints point. yeah yeah but i mean like it if it's kind of a long boss fight or like you're halfway through, you just have someone go over there and res them. Yeah, to yeah, me, yeah. it sounds awesome because the general um, – the what they couch that in is they want to change all the boss fights to give them more mechanics. And the reason that won't happen particularly soon is because they apparently have to make the tools to allow them to re-script the boss fights to make them closer to what they are in the fractals. But how my understanding is, is there'll be more like the more interesting boss fights that you see in the fractals. Like, for example, the one we always call out is the um, one in the snow. Classes. The snow. Snow blind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, snow blind. Yeah, snow blind. Yeah. Um, they want to give them interesting mechanics like that. And to do that, they have to remake all the boss fight tools. But they have so what, announced so, hey, that they so, want to. So, so you're telling me they're, they're going to have to 
redo the tools yep. to allow them to make edits to the scripting of the boss fights they've already created. To make them more complex. So they yeah. have tools to make them as they are now, but obviously they basically boss fights like aren't uh, particularly... Uh, okay, okay. Uh, the, the, this okay. Is not, this that's is that's not where my confusion came fights. in, because I, I, I thought you were saying basically they currently had no means of oh, no, changing yeah, no. those boss fights. They, okay, they have okay. to make the tools no, to make this them is more complex. Just dungeon, this is okay, that scared world. me a little bit. <laughs> This is world bosses. Well, because like, we're talking, we're also talking. I mean, we're talking about the company who like had no means of recovering gear. Yeah. But so that, like, that wouldn't have surprised me. Yeah. In, okay. in this case, it's it's as as Doubleton's been trying to say, it's this is going to cover all bosses, and they want to make them more interesting, which I've, I, I which I can't wait for, because for me, the only boss fight I truly love in Guild Wars Two, like love the depth of my heart, was the unbalanced ridiculously hard flame elemental in in the Asura starting oh, area. So I've done that. Oh, I've done that. I did that before they fixed it and after they fixed yep. it. It's a joke since they fixed yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I loved it before it was fixed. I mean, it, if I made the mistake of standing in that fire before they <laughs> fixed it, I was dead. Dead. Like, <laughs> not even, just gone. Just not even like a second to think about it. Just I mean, like, done. I... I'd really now, like to see. I fucking ran up to the boss and just and just hit, hit uh, one, hit one, and all tapped out. <laughs> yep. I, I'd really like to see more fights like like the uh, first boss in Ascalonian Explorable. Oh yeah. Not not the spider boss, the the ghost boss. Mm-hmm. But just more like I, if you do not avoid this guy's attack, yeah, you die. The attack's yeah. easy to see. Yeah. But it's, like it's, that it's is well one shown. of the bosses. Even if you have four guardians, you rotate wall of reflection. You never get hit by that attack. <laughs> Hey, they're having to actively watch when an attack is coming and well, use an ability like don't. dodge or reflection. No, because they just have to make sure the guardians are. the cooldown period is uh, long enough yeah. that it won't actually matter. Oh, guardians. We'll, we'll get to that guardians, in a second because I also stuff. talked about what they're doing for rebalancing classes. But um, yeah, so they want to <laughs> add more more um, complexity to the boss fights, which is, in my opinion, something that was severely lacking in, in the past for the majority of boss fights. And now yeah, definitely. hopefully it's it's going to get better. Um, but again, our, I'm, I reckon that's going to come out in March. Yes, that, well, they have to make the tool. Like, they specifically March. couched this in <laughs> their plans for the whole year. Um, right. Aside from that, well, like, and also they wouldn't announce that they they're doing this unless they're already deep in development on the tools. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, so, they, like, they let's know, face it; they know it's probably it takes some time before announcing stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, so uh, they also wanted re- overhaul the LFG mechanic. I think we've talked about in the past. Have we? What like, LFG you mechanic? Look, you'll, you'll, oh, you mean that website? Com works. <laughs> Sorry, what, what was that, Revan? Guild, you mean Guild Wars Look for Two dot com? Besides, <laughs> they've plugged in the official forms to, to say to use. Uh, yeah, they haven't told us the what they're still doing. Still managing to stay up, but not having any ads. So, like, hats off to the people donating to it. Right. Um, but yeah, they, they, they haven't chose... I use that site, I should probably donate to it. I guess, <laughs> like, uh, on the subject of, of Crazy Guardians, backtracking a little bit, do we want to just talk about them reworking um, professions like professions that can do AoEs? So, probably the biggest like change thing. in terms of actual gameplay on this um, is a straight up AoE rebalancing for the whole game, is what they're trying to do. Area of effect. Yeah. Um, that's what AOE stands for. I thought so, it stood for something else. Who actually? Who here has a, has a strong opinion about this? Who play? Who doesn't play Ellie? I have my hand up. <laughs> I don't play. Yes, yeah, so I have an opinion on this. I have an I Ellie, play, but yeah, I don't play it much. I've been yeah. playing my Ellie a bit, but I, so, I, it's, it's, I I do use the staff, but it's I have no problem with the the staff Ellie. I've haven't done enough with the Necro Ellie, but I feel like Necro it's Ellie. it's a balance of AOE. I think, I, I think, I think he means Necro staff. But they are like they're, the the AOE is dangerous, but it's also very easy to counter. Mm-hmm. Well, and, it's, have... and it's only dangerous to five people. Well, what they what they've been saying though, the, the, here's why they want to balance it is because apparently people have been using AOE instead of a single target ability well, when they're just fighting one or two people. It's, it's so what just, they're saying is that, like for instance, in you know dungeons and things, uh, mm-hmm. people are using staff almost exclusively instead of using. <laughs> um, I don't know, dagger, dagger, because it's it's so, not as useful as staff is. Like just straight up. So instead of buffing the other ones that are broken, they're going to just nerf staff. <laughs> Durin's, Durin's not hurt about this. So mad. Um, no, so that, that's, actually, that's actually not the case, Durin. Um, what, what they've said no, has been <laughs> um, 
is specifically they they re- finally realized that the opportunity cost for AOE in general in Guild Wars 2 is pretty broken. In that they, their example was if a skill does 10 damage in single target, but your alternative skill does 8 damage in AOE, obviously you'd be using the 8 damage one, no matter your circumstance, because you have a limited skill set. You'd, you'd pick that one. Um, and that applies throughout most of the game. So what, what they found is that this is a general unbalancing of how much... AOE damage is be, is just awesome to do. Like skills in general, it's better to have than others. Is just the basics of this. So what they're doing is they're trying to figure out a way to reduce AOE um, damage opportunity costs. So it's, whether that be by rebalancing skills to longer cooldowns or introducing enemy resistances, stuff like that, so, they so, haven't said. So wouldn't the easiest way to be to, to, to do it would, would basically be like how most every other game out there does it, and that is that especially in like say non PvP, um, reduce the the amount of damage per target that it does, but increase the number of targets that it affects. That is so. If, for very instance, if single target does ten. If single, that, that if single like, target does ten damage um, for to a, to a single person, then maybe have uh, an AOE do like say five damage. Yeah. To ten targets. Yeah. That, that, how about two damage to five targets and d- <laughs> divided equally? How about how about one damage to well, three targets? And the, the reason the reason I, the reason I propose that instead of like say a res- an enemy resistance is the enemy resistance thing becomes a fucking I think, nightmare. Yeah, I to think balance. that's the dumbest. That's the worst. Enemy resistance yeah. is the worst way to handle this problem. And it sounds like from from the mumblings I'm hearing that that is kind of the one that's the on one the table they're leading right towards. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's mainly well, because. It's like, it's, go ahead. Well, first off, this is something that while well, they've announced it, this is I, I think this is going to be like you know fit like this change is going to go into effect after the March update. I think it's a, a ways off. Yeah. But um, like for me, when I'm using it, I'm using it more as a scare tactic, less the damage thing. Right. Um. So like, like that that's that's first. Whenever I switch to it uh, in in Love Love, mm-hmm. yeah. is like okay, I need to use this to hold them back. Yeah, like I'm gonna drop it right in front them of back. them. Right. Yeah. But it's, uh, but the, it's. That's kind they, of the they problem. They say they here. don't have to change it to just like d- defensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, they could uh, adjust the radius or the frequency of the AOE or the, or the the max targets is another thing. I don't think they're going to go with more targets, less damage per target, only because other MMOs do that, and Guild Wars Arena Net has been trying their best to not copy other MMOs. See, that's, that's the thing, though. Is that almost they, out they, of their way. They kind of need to get over themselves because that is... Like, there's a reason other MMOs do that is because it fucking works. So, the other side of this hey, bro, is... Don't fix it. Um, and this is the side that actually scares me. As a, as a person who, who did spend, in the past, a lot of time in PvE... PvP, sorry. Structured PvP. Is... Well, maybe Durham be happy about because he's a dagger dagger Ellie. But they want to increase the effectiveness of single target damage as well. Fuck um, yeah. It, I'm all for that. As a person who um, pretty much tabbed out when it was a 50-50 chance for me to take out a fucking Daggers um, assassin, uh, and I was using uh, all yeah, of my skill, yeah. every big piece of skill available to me in terms of actual <laughs> player skill, and he was just smashing one button. Um, I forgot about the goddamn thieves. Goddamn, goddamn thieves. Um, it, it, not, not only that, but the fact that like even as a Dagger Ellie, I'm still not single target. Yeah, I... I when they say Guardian, they're up, upping single target damage, single so target what they need to do is I'm they need to reduce sometimes. single target damage. <laughs> they need to dramatically reduce AOE damage, uh-huh. but they need to increase chain and conal damage. That'd be pretty cool. That, I, I, yeah. I, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Um, well, no, I, actually, I, I would I would, I would adjust that and say because because thieves are slowly getting more and more nerfed. Well, um, yeah, okay. single target can stay as it is. Exactly, single target stays as it is. Yeah. Reduce AOE and. Um, Kind of play with what you can do with with directional damage. I love the idea of directional yeah. damage. Yeah, directional damage really definitely needs to be looked at because it's it's by far the most strategic type of damage. Yeah, I love it. But at the same time, it's it's like it's the hardest one to do because it is so strategic. Mm-hmm. But it, it it also yields the worst results. Yeah, which it should not in be terms the of case. just raw damage. Like like, yeah. like fire flame breath of what it was is just just pitiful and it's never been yeah. good and, and like the fact, so back cool. to the guardians the fact that like a, <laughs> a, a, a yep. thief that can literally just sit there and, and just mash heart seeker can do more damage yeah than an ellie who is having to swap between four fucking um things and use constant directional damage mm-hmm. like that becomes a problem yeah two so, things okay. one 
I think I found a fix for Heartseeker, <laughs> but Arena will probably never use it because it's too it's too crazy of a thing. But every time you use Heartseeker, you get a debuff that makes it so your next Heartseeker costs more um, whatever initiative. That's the word. Initiative. I would I prefer if um if whenever because it's kind of a throwback to original Guild Wars. If you the more you use um for the thieves in general. The more you use some of their really high damage single target attacks, like the really high damage, keep them really high damage. But as you're using them, you can take more damage. Yeah, I can see that. That would be or, 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 or I also honestly, like a really easy fix, I feel like, would be you know reduce the damage, but like supplement that with bleed damage. Oh yeah, yeah. That's also well. Actually, no. A, yeah, it's, it's for either of those. Yeah. Those are much easier fixes because like every time you use Heartseeker. You get five stacks of vulnerability yeah. opposed to a debuff they have to make on their own yeah. that would make it like implement. The other thing that they need to do with all this is really help out engineers because if they get rid of grenade engineers, <laughs> there's really nothing left. So, well, apparently they, they, they're happy <laughs> with where water. grenades engineers are. Engineers are a bigger problem. Um, Poor, I, I feel my heart goes out to engineers. Yeah. So I guess yeah, we can I move on to any, anybody out there who's still playing one as a main, like, damn. Oh. So they have some funky builds that are funny and like you have a good time with them, <laughs> but there's there's really no good builds. Like you don't play to win. People see an engineer in fractals, they get really happy because they can make the harpy fractal a lot shorter. Yeah, you can skip. You can skip the yeah. second yeah, harpy. You're section. You're appreciated there, engineer. So let's move from AOE fine. damage. Oh, I guess, but to, if we um, have an Asura, they can do the same thing. So we don't really need the engineer <laughs> right. to so overall cost say, balancing. If we had the choice between a ranger of any race, and let's say an Asura Guardian, we're probably going to take the Asura Guardian. <laughs> um, hey, I have that character. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, Wait, no, the, the, the main thing is, um, they actually openly admitted that some classes are just not fulfilling their intended role at the moment. Which is good, that they've at least admitted but, that. Yeah, it's good, it's good that they finally four months in have recognized that. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a <laughs> bit late. It's a bit late. I, I, and this is kind of why I tapped out of PvP I'm not bitter. months ago, like a couple months ago, because um, I kind of saw where this was going anyway. But yeah, so um, there's a couple things that they want to change. About, they've, they obviously recognize that a bunch of the weapons with a bunch of the classes are still not useful. Um, they realize that people like playing in the, I think they called it like bunker builds. I forgot what their name their yeah, like tur- basically turtle builds. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's terminology it's, I'd use, but yeah. Um, yeah. Essentially, tanks... Well, uh, Ellie's pretty much like... If they don't want to be staff Ellie's, they have to go bunker. Yeah. Which is, like, basically they, they well, it's not jump even that. around. It's but that um, some of the staff Ellie builds, bunker builds, and some of the Mesmer bunker builds are just almost unkillable at the moment and just not fun to fight against. Um, and they've said that themselves. So they've, they're apparently uh, staff Ellie bunker is on their watch list. And what that means is there's literally a person at, at ArenaNet who watches videos of people playing Staff Ellie all day and to see wow, if they're unbalanced. what a fulfilling um, job. Because um, guess what? It's not fun to play either. And, well, <laughs> on the other side of that, it's I, I look at that and say, well... I could have watched one hour and told you it wasn't. It was broken. It's, you don't need. I could have told you the first time I ran across a dagger, dagger Ellie, and thought they were cheating. Yeah. Um, but see, the thing though, Revan, is is it? Is it? To, I mean, to be fair, they also couldn't do shit for damage to you. Yeah. For I want to put up for, for question: Is a thief that bursts everything, and then when you survive his attacks and you go to attack him? He stealths for 10, 15 seconds <laughs> until his initiative comes up and he does it to you again. Yep. Is right. that I a bucker thief? <laughs> I think that's called broken as fuck. Oh, oh broken as fuck. Oh, okay. Right. I, I had the two confused. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's the thing. That is annoying, Arena Net. Which, Please, which is again why I'm kind of scared when they're saying that Make- they, they're concerned for single target damage because I don't think that, yeah, there's, there's other issues at, at work here. Yeah, um, no, single target is can fine. Work. I've yeah. seen thieves. I've seen warriors. Single target is fine. Yeah. Just do everything. Do one damage, and then no one will ever complain. There's yeah. a boss. There was a boss in Fractals that if you when he hit you with an attack and you look at the damage log, it would just say he did eight damage when it took half your health off. <laughs> <laughs> um. Like, so yeah, just the visual illusion. Their statements it were, really does it. Um, we want every single class to deal with situations in a unique matter. Blah blah blah. 
Like, just like rehashing what they've said since the beginning of the game. But for, further from there, we want to bring all weak weapons um, and traits on par with the strong weapons, builds, and traits in addition to reduce AoE effectiveness. That's a good luck. I want to see if you that, can do that. That sounds... As somebody, again, again, as somebody who has tried to play a <coughs> damage-based dagger dagger, that sounds like an oxymoron. Yep. And, um, they'll, finally, fix, they'll fix the guardian damage tree? It's like we want, we want to reduce your damage, but we want to make you more viable. Make it, make it useful? Give me um, a reason to go into that Wait, wait, wait. Well, okay, fair. You can't do much damage, but on the other side of things, I think guardians are still one of the die. more useful... One of the more useful classes. Oh, yeah. Don't I even, would, yeah, don't even, don't even start complaining about guardians. Yeah, I'd, I'd say they, they need to work on some I'd other like things before they touch guardians. That's like that's like getting a thief on here and having them complain that they're not tanky enough. Yeah, I think we need. I think what we need to remind all of us, as well as the listeners and all that, and, and Duran. I think you can help back me up on this. Is there's no way to properly balance an MMO. We're just saying that some of these like professions are very badly in need of help. Well, yeah, like. Also, as much as I'll complain about Dagger Dagger Ellie, like again, like I'll pour one out to anybody who's playing an engineer right now. Like <laughs> there's, yeah, there's I, I, I would, always I would going be to be okay with ing- or with Dagger is not, or sorry, Ellie's not getting touched if it means that the engineers become a viable class. But the issue is more people pl- are playing Ellie's, and so they're looking at the the reunions, looking at them. Yeah, um, they're like yeah, month to month update to update. Yeah. There will be like this is the most like this is the best uh, profession at the time, yeah. and so we will see more people playing that profession. Um, what happens like what's annoying for me uh, as like a like field commander? I don't want to call myself like a big commander. I like doing hit and run stuff, but I look like I look in the group and I'm like, okay, I need to find all the elementalists and guardians because they can block siege. Which I'm not sure if it's an exploit or intended <laughs> or something, but I look around and all I see is like. Rangers and warriors and thieves. <laughs> I don't see any guardians. I, ver- I barely see a necro. I'm usually the only mesmer, maybe one other. Right. And it's like that's the the flavors of the month are these like these uh, other classes or mm-hmm. professions. I'm trying to say professions. I'm so, trying. And finally, they're they're saying. Um, well, they say classes themselves. A lot of the classes have because the original guild was of his classes. Um, a lot of the classes have one to two good builds, while some have five to six builds. No, 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 no it was it was professions in the original guild. Really. Was. Fucking crazy. Yeah. All Remember, right, sure. secondary Whatever. Nope. professional. <laughs> anyway. Secondary oh, yeah. Professional. Anyway, a lot of the classes have one to two um, good builds, while some are five to six builds. We want to bring all these classes up to five to six good, viable builds. They have been saying that since release. Um, <laughs> as a person who, for a long time, kept track of how many good builds there were. Um, uh, yeah. That, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much how I take all of these releases they put out. Like, here are our plans for the future. This is what we want to do. We want to make this better. We want to make that better. We want to make this more balanced. Yeah. None of it fucking matters until it hits the game. But I guess until it hits live, it's all yeah. From there to 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 SPVP, since it's pretty closely linked in terms of balance. Um, and from there, that they're essentially talking about actual things, actual announcements, or actual things that they're affirming that they will do. So they are continuing their work on customer readers and want to get that going which is good um one of the 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 coolest announcements they've they've said is that they're certainly going to be putting in a system into structured pvp where lower inverted commas skilled players can fight against other lower skilled players that finally like you mean you're putting in matchmaking so yeah i was serious (laughs) the the thing i've been asking for since the start of the game sure yeah at least they've, they've said they're doing it um and then they're going to be adding um Things closer and closer to original Guild Wars GVG, which is kind of cool. Oh, so right. um, I wonder, Does this like, mean guild halls, guild battles. That, that's you... that's a tricky concept right now because they have a server browser. Yeah. Do you think that they're just going to make it so that like there's the list of arena net like official ones that you have to? It's basically like ranked matches, uh, like pick up ranked matches. But then the, like that's going to be the uh, what, like join right away option, and then right. the new list. Is going to be custom arenas with their own names? Uh, well, it sounds like custom arenas. Um, so yeah, so it's, custom arenas sound like they're going to be there, part of the tournament system rather than the open browsing system. Um, so what they've said here is they're adding, for example, a one versus one tournament system, which is what GBG would have been. Um, one team versus one team, not one person versus one person. Um, Revan just came back. Thank you, Revan. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so one team versus one team, which is going to be a paid tournament system in that you have to set it up. I think you have to pay for it in some means, and it has reduced cost and reduced rewards. But 
I'd be far more interested in doing that than some of the other tournament systems that they've tossed around and the one that's currently in the game because it is essentially close and close to GVG. Um, they'll be introducing, uh, well, they've, they're considering moving Temple of Silent Storm into actual tournament rotation, like real tournament rotation, which is cool because that's one of my favorite maps. That's that's. Hey, you know what? If they want right? to if they want to put that in tournament rotation yep. and get Raid on the Capricorn out, <laughs> I am okay with that. I'm I am definitely okay with the last part of that. <laughs> uh, and it's, they've, they've actually said they they like not in in no not too subtle terms they know that there's an issue with raid on the Capricorn and they're <laughs> talking about ways to fix that it's amongst like removing it <laughs> and um, it's called uh, underwater combat is bad no uh, it's more that it, there really wasn't like enough of it in there to for it to matter I, I yeah. really like you can't that. get an exotic underwater rebreather. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out that's like, the uh, larger problem. Um, right now, uh, Raven is wearing an and, N7 Mass Effect jacket. Oh, I like to applaud him. Man, your yeah. makes you sound like B. Before three came out, I would have totally loved that jacket. Um, I bought it before three came out. Yeah, yeah, everyone kind of did, huh? I'm happy I held off. Um, so, and then lastly, sale, <laughs> the uh, they they're going to add PvP specific armor skins, which I think. Um, some of our, some people in our guild here would be very interested in uh, use of stay trucks, for example, would be very interested in that, uh, which is which is cool. So at least in PvP terms, they are literally saying this is what we'll be doing, and most of the things they said there. Oh yeah, they've also announced that they will certainly have um, the what's what they call um, esport elements into the game by the end of the year. They're hoping to anyway, so that includes um, Spectator mode. Yeah, I'd say end of the year, not in the next few months. Yeah, uh, Spectator mode is coming by the end of the year. I, Sure. Again, believe when I see it, and when I, think, I see I think, it, I think, I think Spectator. If I had to guess, summer. I think is when that's going to hit. Yeah. So that's that. Um, and structure people. So I, I, most of the changes are good. I just think they're coming a bit too late, which is kind of unfair in some yeah. ways. But fuck it, I'm I'm not playing Guild Wars too much at all anymore, and that, this is kind of why. So whatever. Well, no, um, it's 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 not unfair because a lot of this yeah. stuff were, were were things that we felt like. Maybe weren't promised to be launch or shortly after launch things. Yeah, but, but they certainly the built them. They were actively the talking about like yeah. the launch or after launch things, and here we are four months at, four months in, and they're like, "Yeah, they'll be in within the next year." And it's this is something that like I am both I'm happy that it's happening. I'm yeah. happy that they're doing all these like Twitch like channel talks and they're releasing all this information and everything. Mm-hmm. I just hope it's not just another build up. I hope it's not like. Three months of build up and then three months of really quiet. I really yeah. hope we start to see just like well and, and regular <laughs> interactions with the community. The, the, the funny part of uh, again coming from somebody who has played a lot of subscription based MMOs, I'm having a really hard time um figuring out how I should feel about this because part of me it does feel kind of. Annoy that a lot of this stuff isn't in already, right. and that it's taking them so long to get just some of the more what I feel like are some of the real basic features mm-hmm. into the MMO. It's it's similar similar problems that I had with Star Wars back when I played that. But then the other part of me is like, well, I mean, I'm not paying them for it, yeah. So it's not like I'm wasting money by continuing to play the game while I wait for them to put the features in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one more uh, one final thing I really want yeah. to um, underline is they are finally saying. That perhaps CTF and Deathmatch are on the fucking table for PvP. They're finally saying that perhaps sometimes they fucking, may add it. God damn it, guys! <laughs> you know what? You well, know yeah, what? If, nothing else, if nothing else, I think that once they implement the uh, private arenas, mm-hmm. that would be the best place to implement that as like a beta test. Dude, fuck! I would love to play CTF. CTF yeah. is totally what I want. what's up, Thurbleton? Are you waving? Oh, new yeah, I'm oh, waving to. Oh. <laughs> New Brahma has to go. It's Aww. it's a school night or something for him. I don't know. It's bedtime. Bye, oh. Noob. So it's... Anyway, yeah, yeah, not going off topic since this is an audio podcast. Yeah, uh, they were waving on our video, and I was wondering what yeah. was happening. But um, we're playing with the idea of maybe doing some like live shows in the, the future. But this is Guild Wars maybe talk, I'll, so yeah. that could that be one, six months I'll from now before we do it. it. <laughs> we're talking about maybe sometime implementing live video podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> And so yeah, if if, I, if you're up for that, let us know on Twitter or email us or something. Yeah. If you think it's a stupid idea, forget it. Anyway, staying yeah. on topic. Do you guys care about? Yeah, I, I want. I I've always wanted TDM, but having played the game more, I don't think the game is built for TDM because I don't think the matches yeah. last very long. 
Like, what's no, the point of PDM if it lasts about a minute and then everyone's dead? Like, that's essentially what's been happening. If, yeah, like CTF, you know, I, can, I can get behind. Yes. CTF, what I'd really um, like to see... Objective based mode would be more fun. I'd, well, and, and, and like this I is very a, rarely I, play team deathmatch modes in right. games that have them. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd I love to see... I do, but... A, I do. A, I love I like Solid For, uh, I, Let's see a combination of, like, the, the elements from Wove Wove brought into PvP... Maybe just bring this up for like the eight eight v eight sort of fights, but mm-hmm. um, this is this is a callback to how old I am. But like, I almost want to say this was original Unreal Tournament. Right. I, I think it was a different game, but like an assault mode, which is basically there's defenders, there's there's attackers, oh, and it's like, it, assault. I think it might have been, I don't think it was Counter Strike though. I think it was uh, well, games before that. It but. existed in Counter Strike, and I, so I, that's why I, that's my touchstone. But, for yeah, but, it. but yeah, that would be like cool. this. This was not just Counter Strike. This was like you know how Battlefield um, Three or maybe Bad Company Two or something. But basically, like there was an attack point, a defend point. Yeah. But then after that, the fight would just move to another theater of that same map as it would progress. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I remember and that. basically making it so like you you know the the capture points they use in. Um, in, in current maps, like in Raid on the Capricorn mm-hmm. and uh, Force of Hill, it's more just like the defenders have a very close respawn and the attackers have a further away spawn. Yeah. And they have to make it so that the attackers don't fully cap this point. Right. And at the end of that, they switch sides. And so the, the other half of this is that um, aside from those two, and the reason that they're only just on the table is because they've been investigating adding more modes based on the Conquest system, which could very well include that. Because from yeah. memory, how that worked in UT was it like for one example I, I, I think it's ut one example i'm thinking of it's like a like two trains and or something like that and you start on one end of the train and one team's objective is to hold off the oh, other yeah. team all the way along the entire train to the other side but and it's like be, a train that's going through light space or something yeah it's it, was, it was weird oh yeah something like that and, it's, and that was incredibly fun because it was based if you either stop them completely within time limit, or if they if they beat you to the other side, your objective on the reverse of that, where they're holding you off, is to do it faster than they did. And that, that was a really interesting and cool. Yeah, I don't know. Like um, the problem I have with that though is I, I don't know that objective based uh, like PvP Star Wars why it works yeah. as well for Guild Wars 2's, um combat style. They've played around with a lot of different ideas, apparently with internal testing. Yeah, so they might say yes, we've tried it. It doesn't really work because certain classes are just like certain oh, teams yeah. of classes would be better, Man. but they played around with like dodgeball apparently. <laughs> that'd that'd like, be fun. Like, that is like a mode where like when you kill one person, all the people that person has killed respawn. So what they need to do is they basically need to um, just put keg brawl in as a, a, a type of PVP. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, if they just start throwing all these elements in for like what well, the tournament games, which is again something that they hyped up pre-release and sells and come out well and I, and I say that because like again like harkening back to star wars one of the funnest things in that game was fucking hutball oh god hutball that- was so fucking good no i'm just saying i'm like, hearing the steve steve bloom going remember huts <laughs> don't have feet <laughs> oh the amount of hutball i played <laughs> I don't, that's, yeah, that's but like just it. having like a, a, having also, like a structure. Like you, had like, the issue of, you had the issue of cer- that was that game was broken for certain classes at a point. Right, right. But I'm saying like, like having a, 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 a structure. As a juggernaut, I could move three quarters of the way across the map with four <laughs> button presses. But having like a, a structured like almost sport style um, PvP could be interesting. So and pretty much also, the last the thing is, I want to. How are those, I want to know how those projectiles worked for dodgeball. Like, did you? Did the person have to be standing still? Were did the shots sort of anticipate where they were going? So it worked like the scepter. Won no, on it the better not be like a snowball did, fight because the snowball fight was terrible. Which, no, which like, means, I, I think it was just more the, the concept of dodgeball, where yeah. like if you killed somebody, the other people would respawn. Yeah, or um, it would pull something. But so, so yeah, found, so the last thing on here that I found really interesting was um, or so they they want oh, to yeah. change it finally. They 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 want to make it fun. Um, apparently, so, pretty much like not they, only they that, but just the whole. They're, no. they're, they realize the fact that uh, the solo as a guardian. I don't know what you're talking about, Derek. <laughs> the same as a warrior. I was fine. <laughs> they they realize that there's not a like there are a lot of zones that there's not a lot of people in. Yeah, and 
that they need to be improved slightly, let's say. Uh-huh. Uh, what a lot of people seem to be talking about is a underflow server concept, uh, which That's Reunite is sort of not uh, – they're, they're really not for. Mm-hmm. Uh, for people who don't know, the concept of the underflow is like the reverse overflow where you can choose to opt into this underflow server that will – apparently have a lot more people than the five people that are in your current map. Um, instead, what they're talking about doing is improving or uh, mm-hmm. basically progressing that story some, but then also with going back to the achievements we talked about earlier, yeah. they're talking about having special achievements for PVE. I'm not sure if they're daily or do, I think they're going to be more yeah. monthly. Yeah, monthly. They're just, linked to the monthlies. Or orienting those to like do X events, X number of events inside this zone or just something to do with progress, like fight in this zone particularly, mm-hmm. that will hopefully uh, allow more month to month. There's going to be action in these uh, zones. Yeah. So with Aura in specifically, that they're changing the mobs. I'm not saying really how. Apparently, I think they're. Let's see what we have here. I'm no at more. The, uh, no more mobs that pull you. No more mobs that oh pull you. God. No more mobs that pull you. Fuck no more her. mobs that pull you. Worst thing. I, so, I'm okay with just like the same number of mobs, but just not spread out so much. So here's the statement. Make it so that there's like for the January update, uh, we are thinning out the density of mobs in ore, uh, making more waypoints <laughs> always God. active, and adding That's some more new rewards from vendors and from drops. Um, we'll also have tweaked some of the bosses in temples to make them a bit more exciting and larger, for larger groups. And uh, we didn't does completely that, wait, does that mean Balthazar will work more than 30% of the time? <laughs> well, it doesn't – Balthazar doesn't work because you also have to remember that when gu- guessing is going to begin, so there, you just have to look on Reddit and be like, okay, <laughs> there's like, – they, they just did it 30 minutes ago on the server. I can guest over there and get it. It's, it's less about working and more about making it fun, yeah. I think. And, I, and, and so, it's so much easier with five people than it is with 50. Absolutely. I it's, agree. It, Absolutely. It scales so horribly. It's yep. so dumb. Or sorry, scales so painfully when you hit <laughs> a certain number. Yep. And people and people don't pay attention and don't know and don't realize you know, so I'm just lying here. Someone will eventually res me when we have a timer on this mission. God damn it. I love the trick to help counter because like the more people that are there, dead or alive, will make it so that the boss has more health and does more damage and is harder to kill for the people who are still alive. So I love the trick that some people use that he gain, he gains health or damage w- uh, when dead people are around, which doesn't happen at all. I mean, Man, it's sort of, if they it's, changed it so it actually did that. Yeah, made so he actually healed, <laughs> that would be hilarious. People would funny. actually... Run back instead of waiting to be res. That'd be cool. No, they anyway, would. Though. People, people would just snap more and more violently, <laughs> which is what oh, I want to oh. see. Uh, like anyway. you just see people who just specifically get banned because of things they've said to people during Balthazar. So that's pretty much it. That, that's that's most of the stuff from this list that I found interesting. Um, uh, it's what do you guys think overall about their plans for 2013? Uh, they have again. They haven't talked about any of their new content, and they weren't planning to. Um, yeah. uh, like I, like I said, I'm on the fence about the well love fix. I think the fractal is going to be improvement in that in that direction. Is the idea of fractals a good idea as a whole? I'm not sure about. It. I think it's it's okay, leading more. So forward. for me, when I when me and Nubrama were progressing from fractal level one to ten, so before fucking um, agony comes into it. The idea of an ever-changing gu- dungeon, which they will slowly add new fractals to, that was just fun, was awesome. But now the fractals is became what they intended to be, which is this like kind of infinite dungeon where you get gear to get further. And... The thing is, it's not really infinite because people hit the cap. Right. Yeah. Well, what's the cap well, specifically? It's, it, it was 80. intended to be 80. infinite. I don't. I don't think they expected people to hit that cap so quickly. Yeah, but so here's the thing. MMO developers never. You should yeah, always never. expect someone always. to hit the cap yeah. you set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> always. I, I believe I said cap. as much in in Mumble when you guys were talking about the people that hit the cap. The cap is eighty, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Again, guess. personal story. Same as our levels. Hey. I don't know. But um, whatever. You know, the thing anyway. is, the cap is eighty. They can keep going past eighty. They just can't. Like they can do eighty, then eighty-one, then eighty-two. They just can't start from eighty-two. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I, I I I loved the idea of fractals when I thought it was just for funsies. After it became a gear grind, I thought it was like the worst thing in the world. I don't. I that's it. Not, it really I, is, as far as I, I know, just, the best place to get like um, 
exotics and whatnot mm-hmm. for uh, ectos. Right. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. What uh, I do, I don't that's think sport. it's going to be a big sport. esports show by the end of the year. I think they're going to get custom arenas out. I'm I don't know if they're going to get spectator mode out by the end of the year. I, um, I, I'm going to say this right now. Um, I. Like even though they really want to, really, really, really want to push Guild Wars Two to be an esport, at this time where we are right now, I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think. I think it's gonna be a slow burn, and they're not gonna get up up in time nope. for. Uh, well, like I, as somebody who who tends to spend quite a bit of time looking on Twitch and looking at you know what's being played and stuff, mm-hmm. where Guild Wars Two currently sits on Twitch, kind of on an average day or on an average weekend night. Um, there's no fucking way this game is going to get to an esports level. Yeah, I mean, and, there, and there, partially- there are nights where there are more people streaming Star Wars than there are streaming Guild Wars 2. So, like, some of it is, isn't there for, like, I, in my opinion, a lot of the people who loved Guild Wars 1, this hap- this definitely includes my friends, um, love, like, the competitive and cooperative feeling of Guild Wars 1, have moved on to Dota. Dota 2 is, like, the, the esport at the moment. I, I think unrivaled in my opinion, and that's, I guess LOL is uh, there. LOL is but, the unrivaled one. Yeah, no, well, LOL is the unrivaled one that's slowly on decline, from what I understand. Yeah, and and Dot is the uprising one. Um, but either way, like though, like the MOBA has taken the esports over just online, just in general. Um, you heard they're adding a MOBA map to WoW, right? <sighs> to the WoW PvP. So I think so. Some they're, they're chasing uh, the money. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to comment. Um, <laughs> on, on some <laughs> level, it's not Arena's fault that they did get left behind in that way. But on the other sides of it, it's like, yeah, but you well, I mean, should have known because... that if you can't broadcast it, if you can't live stream a tournament, no one can watch the tournament, and therefore it may as well never have never happened. Spectator mode. Well, I think that's, that much. That's, I think that's why that, that's that's not true this. either. That, that is absolutely not true either because there are. I mean, I mean. The, the, there are tournaments for WoW arenas, and as far as I know, there's no built-in spectator mode in that. All right, not okay. not definitely not from, not from a client level. There might be something they have set up with Blizzard to allow them to do so, right? Um, through the game, but that is definitely not on the client side. But on the other side of that 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 coin, StarCraft is as successful as it got because you can do a guest mode and view how awesome those matches are. Like, it wouldn't have gotten as big in Korea if it wasn't easy for them to, to have an equivalent of spectating for that game. Because yeah. I, obviously, the yeah. different genres. I, I, but the yeah. Like, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, like, like there's... There were things the PvP community were crying out for in the betas that never happened. I, and I don't think... That thing is too late. I mean, part, of it, part, part of it is because of Dota. Uh, like, things have just left them behind. But either way, like, yeah. On that opinion, Doubleton, I... I I think they they've missed the the train on that. Yeah, um, the big thing that I'm most excited for isn't actually Love Love, just because I mean the people who like that are either going to keep playing that or they're going to move on to another game like uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I think sure, it's doing no, something like no, very similar to Love Love. Pick a different one. I'm, that's, <laughs> I'm just saying they're they're copying a lot of stuff. People are talking about it. Still, the it's Elder Scrolls most, Online. It's a fucking about. terrible idea. That, yeah, pick any other. Hey, it's the game's not out yet. We don't we don't know how it's going to play. I pre- I predict badly, but anyway, um, the thing I'm most excited about is the idea of like adding more events and more like meta stories for each zone uh, in the PVE game. Uh, I really hope they that's something they really pushed about uh, pre-release. Mm-hmm. We're starting to see that with like I guess the story of the uh, Lost Shores. <laughs> um, I guess the, uh, uh, apparently the carcass story isn't finished yet. I don't oh, know. Shut up! Don't say that. That's the opposite of what I, I want to hear. Not. Well, Let's... no. If you think about it, like it's uh, Tales of Tyria talk like made sense of this, but it's the only zone that isn't related to any like the PVE story progression. Mm-hmm. So they can use like people can just keep coming back to that zone and they can develop it more to the just terrible zone it is right now where everyone just goes there for that one or calcum node damn straight that one or calcum node I, that, I didn't even know that was a thing but yeah I, yeah absolutely I, I found, that's, when that's i found that node, right i was like now, and so there are people who have alts like level one alts logged just logged there yep. all yep. day long my, to mine that ore yeah well, I, the, I, I just from yeah when i first did it i walked up there got the ore and i was like hey i this is easy or calcum and I knew people would exploit it, so I'm happy to hear 
They put a exactly. champion at the top of the steps. Or yes. Calcum has dropped down to an all time low. So if anybody needs that for their uh, <laughs> like armor and shit, it's, like, it's like less than four silver a bar. Yeah. As you can review with our legendary um, podcast, that or Calcum, you need like I think a thousand ingots for for most legendaries. Um, nah. or not, a thousand or five hundred ingots. That's what it was. Right. You need two Actually, six- it depends. Like mo- I know, I know all legendaries take two fifty. Mm-hmm. Wait. Anyway, they're dirt cheap right now, as cheap yeah. as they're going to be. Yeah. Uh, so there is that. But like the story, like we're starting to see with Ore potentially, is they're going to you know improve on that story and all that. I, so um, sure. I don't know. That's, um, but that's, what my, that's what I'm ske- like spec- spectating for, speculating for so 2013. I, this, this idea has been ruminating in my head for a while, but um, when I when I first heard them talking about um, dynamic events and dynamic event chains and all that kind of stuff, um, and like when Guild Wars Two was originally announced, um, and we got into the game and we played it for the first time. So the first beaters, the things we all walked away from were the dynamic event chains that came up, that ended up with the story. So for example, the one in um, Queensdale where these dudes are attacking the um, water filtration plant and they, they put in like slime and all that kind of stuff. And people are affected by the slime. That was like a little story in and of itself. The one in iron marches, whereas a lady, a witch who's bewitching children and kills them all and shit like that. That's a story. It was very memorable to me. Um, but aside from that, most of pretty much 90% of the fucking dynamic events in this game are walking from one place to another or um, killing shit or like just, 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 just crap. Just, just like things I don't want to do with my time. Um, if they'd said to me that instead they're going to, they're going to relist their, their team of writers and make a whole new set of dynamic events across the world which actually were little vignettes and little stories, that would be exciting to me. But as, as they are, of just like changing mob densities and stuff. I, I, yeah, sure, do, sure, bro. Sure, do whatever you want. I'm, I'm not particularly excited. Yeah, my favorite story is like is the one from the, the Char second zone. It's mainly just because I, I really like the Char zones as mm-hmm. a whole, but um, like the, the three ones I can name off the top of my head are the, the one for the... Uh, Basically, it's a back and forth with the Flame Legion, yep. but like they take they take apart this this town, and, and you have to rebuild the town and all that, and then yep. you go attack the Flame Legion. Mm-hmm. But that's just a very back and forth one. Yeah. Then there's the the steam creations in um, one of the Norn zones, right? Dreadhorn Cliffs. Yeah, that's the sorry, one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's Lonar's Pass. I'm sorry. I should not forget <laughs> that is the hell that is Lonar's Pass. Yeah, but like that's. That's sort of a story. I mean, like that. That's, but that's not really a vignette. That's not like any story. Yeah. Like that's, you don't take away anything from that. And I yeah. think if they had more personal characters in the world, exactly. like, if they I had think like that'd characters be, walking so. around, like people you could like. I guess you, you're asking for a lot because you're looking for unique character models, like actually written out word dialogue that actually forms a story. That is a lot to ask for. But when I was originally told about dynamic events. Those like those little things, those little pockets of of brilliance I've seen around the world was what I was hoping more from. So, but anyway, that that's just an aside. That's something. I, what I want is fucking Skyrim, but MMO, and I don't want the fucking Skyrim. The, you want Elder, Scrolls Elder Scrolls Online? That's not what I want. MMO. That's not what I want. That's the problem. That's the problem. I want Skyrim MMO. I don't want Elder Scrolls Online. Ah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, how long has this been going for? We should wrap this up. Uh yeah, it's uh two and a half hours. Two showers. Yeah. All right. Pretty good time. Yeah. <laughs> um do we just want to go to plugs? I mean like I think that's I think we covered most of the stuff that we can talk about yeah, yeah. for the upcoming January release and moving on. Yeah, the yeah. the Cantha thing is still in the NDAs. Wait, what Cantha thing? Don't worry. Nothing. Yeah, that, no, nothing. That no no Cantha thing. What are you talking about? No one says you're telling me this when we're off. It's like when we're done recording. You're telling me what this candle thing is. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't know. I don't um, know what you're talking about at all. One last thing we can we can cover is is just a, a fun tidbit, which is really something I wish they would have said months ago. But uh, when we were talking about the AOE cap, a lot oh, of people that, believe that thing. siege is and like capped at five people as well. No, it's not fifty. Uh, yeah. Most for for most siege that doesn't really have to do with 
attacking people, it's like 10. Uh, but things like uh, uh, arrow carts, rams for some reason, mortars. <laughs> reason. Trebuchets, specifically. Like, I don't know why rams and mortars are designed to hit I just people. love to see somebody actually stand in front of a ram long enough to get hit. Because at that point, <laughs> they fucking deserve it. I think it's the flame, bass, flame blast on one of those rams. Yeah, uh, but the blast is from the side, and for most of the time, there's just like – they're AOEing on you because you're standing still. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's that. No, but like it's it's a 50 person cap. Mm-hmm. Uh, so really, like three people with arrow cards could hold back a Zerg attacking a door. Yeah. Revan, I love that. By the way, and I know no one can hear this, uh, but I love that Revan has completely fallen out of frame now. Yeah, he's just lying down now. <laughs> uh, I'm about to fall out of this bed. <laughs> Started yeah. off like center frame. Now just. Well, what time is it falling. over there? For me, it's like 4 p.m. So I'm not too bad. Uh, 12:30. Awesome. Yeah, it's 9:30. I've been up since seven. You are a pussy. God damn. But it. here's something that, that is uh, I just want to like two p.m. Trebuchet hit fifty people. I am cool with that. A giant flaming boulder falls through the sky and hits me. I get pushed back a little bit and take <laughs> a third damage. <laughs> yeah. Please, I, yeah. please let just like we just get we get the red circle. We get like. The random guy out of nowhere that shouts "Trebuchet!" Yep. like in the Battle of Kylo, and then if we don't move, we like lose eighty percent of our life. Yeah, but wasn't it like that fine. before? Like pre release, I swear I've w- wiped out people pre release with Trebuchet. Oh yeah, it fucking hurt like hell pre release yeah. for sure. It was like, it was like twelve thousand damage. Yeah, pre release. Like if you, got, if you got hit once, that was your warning shot. The next one, you were down. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Almost as fun right, as cannons. Let's let's just go to plugs, guys. That yep. plugs. yeah, I think that pretty much just covers the show. <laughs> Cynic, you got anything to plug? You're just gonna do new Brahma's uh, plugs? Nah, I'm not gonna do new Brahma. Eh. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> if he wasn't here to do him himself. Game it's up, man. Facebook or maybe it's uh, I'm gonna get my. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug something that that I usually don't. I got, I'm gonna say um, check out Audible.com. I, I really like that site. I I, I, I usually don't. This has got nothing to – we aren't sponsored or anything. I just yep. really like, like Audible. most podcasts that get sponsored by Audible, we are not getting paid yeah, to I, talk I about totally it. I totally – like I, I've recently um, – I've been a member for quite a while, but I recently I did a bunch of books back to back to back to back to back. And it's just been really awesome to have that around. So yeah. Audible. I think, I think at this point we live in a weird age because like unlike mo- most podcasts, we're not sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like weird. Like that's becoming a thing now. Sponsored podcasts. What's what? with that? Yeah. What? If anybody at uh, Blue Yeti Microphones wants to podcast us, yeah, because we're on PA. Sponsor us. Most the people on this podcast use it. Yeah. Not talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's mine. I, n- nothing, nothing serious to plug. Just, just yeah. If if you want something cool to do with your time, listen to books is pretty good. Or read. Yeah. Read is, reading is good for you. Do it. So. Unless it's tax forms. Yeah. <laughs> Durin, apart from tax forums, any, any plugs? Yeah, I am going to have a lot of free time on my hands um, in the near future. Yay. So I'm going to be streaming. So Yay. I will finally That's start plugging twitch.tv slash Durin and come check it out. I'm going to be playing some games. Um, I specific? have no fucking idea what yeah. yet. I, I don't know what I'm going to start with. Um, I have rec- a couple of games. I recommend something. Love. Devil May Cry. I actually might have turned around on that one. I think I'm going to wait until a Steam sale for that. Really? Um, That's cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks like a really fun game. I've never been big in Devil May Cry, and there's some really big games coming out this uh, next couple of months that I'm going to definitely want to get. Mm-hmm. And given that I'm not working, that kind of limits how many of those I can buy. Oh, my God. So, um, there is a, there's a post on YouTube that's actually pretty popular, so you may have already seen links, but um, that just posted... A edited down version of the whole Halo Four story into an hour. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna play that game now. <laughs> but I ha- I ha- I you go- saw the story. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I, as yeah. in, as in, yeah. I'm happy I was able to consume it in that fashion. I'm not talking about the story yeah. itself. Um, but I like the fact. That <laughs> oh, I zoned that. out <laughs> at the info dump in that story. Just like, oh Lord, no, fuck this. <laughs> I do like how Giant Bomb mentioned Halo. I, I think Halo Five or something during like the um, unprofessional Fridays. Yep. I think is what it was. Yep. Yeah. Somebody asked them uh, if they were going to cover Halo Five or who. If somebody was going to review Halo Five, and they said yes, they are working on that review right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not sure which game exactly I'm going to be starting with. I got a couple of them. I'm kind of in the middle of. Uh, it's, I've got, got Dark Siders Two, uh, Far Cry Three. Okay. 
Um, Spec Ops The Line, I'm still kind of halfway through, um, as well as uh, I'm currently on the beginning of Episode 3 of The Walking Dead. So it could pretty much be just about any of those games or others. Mm-hmm. Um, I might watch but, the stream yeah, of that the because... Steam, the stream roulette it. I, 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 or if I would be on your stream for that because I would just... I'll, I'll, yeah, I will tell you what I think about that game. And why I don't think <laughs> it is our game of the year for any public game. But anyway, whatever. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong. It was not on my top five games of the year. Yeah, we, yeah, we went through that. that. Yeah, we went through yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and also Far Cry 3. I, I definitely want to get back to that one. So any one of those Jeez. games could be something I'll be streaming that night. Um, I, I tend to have gaming ADD, so it literally could be a different game each night. Who knows? Cool. And again, that's twitch.tv slash D-O-U-R-I-N, right? Yep. Sweet. Uh, Riven. Yeah. Anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to plug? No, not really. I guess your your plug was the Guild Warriors looking for group tool, right? Yeah, Guild so Wars. More two, people will do fractals uh, with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm just dis- uh, starting to dislike the people I'm doing fractals with mostly. Aww. That ranger was hilarious. Like your your hatred for him was hilarious. <laughs> no, it's. it's Oh, briefly, so, do, some of story? the hatred I've had for some of these people. I don't remember a lot of the stories about some of this hatred. Basically, it was like you, you were so I remember the one the where I wanted to pull the stick out of that dude's ass and beat him to death with it, but... Nah. Well, no, it's was, like nah. you you wanted to boot him from the group right before oh, the, we the boss it, died. Oh, we oh this was that from one. the group during the fucking last boss fight. And it fucking but, sent everyone back to Lions. I was like, I'm fine with this. I fucking wasted two hours of my life, but I'm fucking done with you. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I'm done. What was wrong with him? What did you do? Fucking asshole. Oh. I, I guess like, like one more time. I'm done. Motherfucker. We are on the last fight. We do this and we are done. We're it's gravy from here on out. <laughs> and you want to start bitching. You can leave now. <laughs> No one is forcing your ass to be here. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you with a dog. She's a bitch. Ya. Nice. I, I guess what, just so people know, this is like pretty often what we're, what you experience on the, the, the Lick and Cast mumble or Lick and Force mumble. It, it's it's, it's just hilarious. Up, that, that people are bitching about their fractal groups. It's either like karaoke, a freaking talking about sports, or Riven on a rampage. Just crazy <laughs> Speaking stuff. Speaking of karaoke, we need, we need to wrap this thing up because Shin has some Taylor oh, yeah. Swift waiting for me. Oh, man. I'm um, dead tired. I, I will stay on for that fucking Taylor Swift. I guess uh, my quick plugs. Um, shout out to Onus. He's one of the, the listeners who uh, talked to us about how much like like the show. Aww. If you want, like, if you like, uh, talk to uh, – send us a, some, a love or a question or something on the Twitter. That's uh, – let me look that up real fast. Uh, the other I thing I like to the Lincoln Cast. Yeah, it's at, at the Lincoln I think cast so. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, no, it yep. is at, <laughs> at the Lincoln Cast. Okay. Word. And <laughs> same the with Lincoln the Lincoln Cast gmail.com. Email us for our, at uh, yeah, LincolnCast at gmail.com. Uh, my plug is going to be I am streaming as well, but I'm not using Twitch anymore. I'm using own uh, 3D TV slash Thurbaton. You have to you have Thurb- to send me a link a- to that so I can post it. In the own 3D TV. It, it's Basically, the, I'm getting the double, double the upload for it. Um, but I'm trying to do like every Monday uh, something. I call it Manic Mondays. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was doing uh, Hawken for a little bit. Now I'm, I'm also doing a uh, playthrough of Dishonored where I'm just killing everyone. <laughs> yep. Everyone <laughs> must die. Mm-hmm. Um, That's pretty cool. It, it's, I end up getting is killed it, a lot. But is it, it the new uh, game from the developers of Orcs Must Die? Yes. Everyone Must Die? <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> if only. It's there is some hilarity with it. Um, I, it I'm having fun with it, uh, but yeah, really it's, like I'll it. just I'm trying to game every Monday. Yeah, awesome. And, 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 you, and you might occasionally catch Thurb and I both streaming. Yeah, <laughs> like we we might try doing like a, a we were doing SPP streams on Wednesdays, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, check it out. Yeah, that's all I got. This is the part where we don't know how to end it, so I'm just gonna say bye, good, everybody. Uh, I, b- I believe it was have a nice day and fuck off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck off hey. and have a nice day. Hey,